<laughs> All right, guys. Uh, welcome to the Witchlight mini campaign, and uh, <laughs> um, all right, let us begin. Uh, so the setting is going to be uh, still going to be in Terran, uh around Gamaril, the uh, uh, forest in Gamaril, and uh, you'll see. Um, this open space, just this, this, uh, like there's nothing, there's just nothing there, just a bunch of trees. And then there's this little kid walking around, minding his own business. And I think this little kid is Simon. I would say Simon would be walking around, just minding his own thing, doing his own thing. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, as he, I say you'd hide behind a tree. Um, as you notice, uh, two figures appear out of nowhere. Um, I nearly said their names. Um, <laughs> two figures appear out of nowhere, and um, one of them has a watch. You notice that this uh, this watch is glowing uh, bright, crazy bright. And out of this watch, smoke starts to starts to come out and just envelop this uh, open area. As this open area starts uh, getting like, just covered in fog and smoke and per I'd say the purplish fog, purplish smoke, and then all of a sudden as it dissipates, the, f the carnival is already set up. Everybody's Whoa. like running around, moving around, and yes. uh, that is so everybody's cool. already doing their thing. As if, yeah, so the, but in real time, this took like an hour. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, Wayne's right there. As you're there, Wayne, you see Lurik banging on his drum, just mind, like, no, he doesn't even know what he's doing there. He's just like doing his thing, just <laughs> minding his own business. Because y'all are kids, y'all are like eight years old or, so, or like 10 years old or something. I don't know what 10 year olds do these days. Yeah, 10 year, ten year old kid with a beard over there. 10 year old kid with a beard. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's just this 10 year old kid just banging on a drum and then, um, so yeah, I, your characters would meet and uh, as you approach the uh, the carnival, I say uh, you guys can pick where you guys want to sneak in. Okay. Um, so you can like look at the map as a like the entire map and see how your two characters would like figure out where you guys want to sneak in first. Okay. Uh, did does Simon and Lurik already know each other, or this is the first time they're meeting? Um, that's up to you guys. Would you guys? I think you guys would know each other already, right? Okay. okay. Each other buddies. Okay. Simon, uh, like from the from like the outside part of this this carnival and hiding behind yes. the tree, he will like whisper, shout at Lurik and say, "Hey, hey, Lurik." You're making too much noise. We don't want to draw any att attraction to ourselves. We're trying to sneak in. Just keep keep the drum away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just dead. <laughs> so much. You can't take you seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're on his drum. <laughs> This is the. <laughs> I I know breathe, I know, breathe. I know I know your drum, your anger drum is important to you, but you gotta stay calm right now. We're sneaking into the carnival. So yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, um, all right. So yeah, I get it. We're sneaking in, so fine. I'll try to calm myself down, uh -huh. control my anger for a hot minute, and I will stop drumming because we need to do this. <laughs> yeah! Wait, there you go. You got to do it. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I guess. I, <laughs> okay. I guess. 
we sneak in and I don't okay, know. Okay, so uh, we have some. I want you guys to roll um some stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, so I wanted to do like a combined uh, stealth check from both of you guys. Okay. So just uh, oh boy, I just yeah. So just roll on uh. Okay. Stealth. I think there should be um the character sheet should be okay. there. Uh, Antonio, you can go onto the WL dice tray channel, right? And then you do oh, yeah. exclamation mark C space stealth like that. Oh, it doesn't show, but it's like. <laughs> Can you do that? Can you do it again? Do, like do that, back ticks. But without the without the parentheses. Thank you. Those are not parentheses. Yeah, <laughs> 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 the drums. <laughs> I was gonna. The DC is like pretty high. I was worried that you guys wouldn't hit the DC, but you guys, like Wayne, like Wayne's thing was already enough. Um, right. uh, <laughs> you guys get it. I saved you. <laughs> yeah, I can like see like Wayne, like uh, Simon, just like uh, like hiding the drum or something, or like keeping it tucked away, just making sure he doesn't touch it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, all right, I see you guys. As you guys go in, uh, yeah, you guys decide to check out everything and any uh, uh, any of the attractions. That's up to you. Um, but I'll leave that for you guys, for you guys to do. Now we'll move the uh, the camera over to the lost property section. All right. No, I want to. Which is there. where? That's where you are. Okay, sure. That is where you are. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then. And then, so uh, we're gonna see uh, this character Ooh. up here. Oh my God! Beautiful. The uh, Mama Displacer Beast for uh, Era, I think. Uh, that's her, that's her yes. name, right? Mika? Yes. Era, okay. Era. So that's... Uh, her uh, Her name is Dear Legrand. I should add that as well. Yeah. Dear Legrand. Type it there. in chapter. Oh, there, there. Okay. So, so... I'll call her Mama D. Mama D. Uh, Mama yeah. D. Mommy D. <laughs> Mommy D, Mommy D like Pacquiao's mom. Oh, it's so <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Uh, so Mommy D is right there, uh, yeah. taking care of Era. And um, yeah, so uh, I guess like you're playing around with the uh, the different animals there, petting them. Yeah. And oh shoot, I didn't make a token for your. Oh, oh no, the old lady. The old lady. <laughs> it's okay. But we can say the old lady um talks up. Uh let, let's say this is the old lady. Why not? Let's say that's the old lady. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> she, looks, she looks scary. Wow. She looks so scary. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I, I was like it fits too, yeah. <laughs> uh she is yeah. So the old, the old like lady a, shows like up and she sees you vibe. like... Yeah. Yeah, you got, you got moms everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd say she shows up, uh, sees you playing around. Yeah. Um, the Legrand's just very like... She, she can't focus all her attention on you because she has other kids as well in the uh, Lost Property section. Which sucks that it's called Lost Property, but... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah like we're kids. just lost kids. <laughs> <laughs> they just pick up kids that get lost in the carnival. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Waiting for their parents to claim them. You're like, oh, okay, I'll be back eight years. Okay. <laughs> maybe, oh, maybe Tina Valentina was a lost kid. A <laughs> lost property. That could be a kid. thing, yeah. Right <laughs> um, so, yeah, Dear Legrand's busy with the kids. And so, I guess the old lady would come up to you and. Uh, grab your attention and be like uh uh like what are you doing uh <laughs> i don't have a voice for her too <laughs> no it's okay um <laughs> good breathe 
And so she just comes up to you and she's like, why aren't you practicing? Why aren't you like getting ready? Uh, why are you just playing around with the kids and stuff? Uh, I will say, uh, I will say, uh, practice? Uh, no practice. I, I stay with, with kids here in, in the lost property because they're lost. And so she proceeds to just be like, she like grabs you by the ear and like starts dragging you out of the lost property no, section. No, 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 no. <laughs> and uh, I'd say she drags you to the big top where you uh, meet up with uh, Tina Valentina. Oh, oh okay. She pulled your ear all the way there. Yeah. All the way there. <laughs> Yanked it all oh, the way. the ears, man. By the ears. Oh, <laughs> are, are we friends? Wait, we, we're friends. Hi. I'll, I'll just say we're Do we friends. We know each other already. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, hey. Yes. You're here. I am. You come here to practice? Finally, I've been waiting for you all day. <laughs> no. Era don't want to practice. Era wants to play with kids. It's kids where <laughs> in, in, in the lost in the lost section. <laughs> their their parents need to claim them. You see, they have no parents. You can find their parents next time. Anyway, what are we practicing today? I don't want to go on to the. Okay. I don't know what it's called. The like thing, the like line like, that's very high in the sky. The that you trapeze. Have to... Yeah, trapeze. So yeah. the thing yeah. that happens as uh, Era comes in, uh, Era, you spot Tina just peeking from the side of the of the tent, uh, looking at uh, the main. At the time, the uh, main attraction. Her name is. Uh... Ooh. 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 Oh my god! Yes. The name oh. is uh, Sephora <laughs> Fedora. <laughs> yes. Fedora. <laughs> Tina, 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 and Sephora Fedora. Sephora. <laughs> my my. Sephora, she's so cool and 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 magnificent and I, I'd like to be like her one day. <laughs> so the thing with Sephora Fedora is her routine is like she's hanging along the uh, typical trapeze stuff, like gliding along the air. But her thing is she has um, a thing for guns. So while she's gliding in the air, she's using her guns to like shoot stuff down Whoa. from the air and like... And as she falls to the ground, she like shoots like a bajillion things. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing her uh, do. <laughs> Great. Um, so this is all happening. She's running her routine and uh, doing her thing. Uh, and just Tina's just there, like losing her mind. Like, oh my god, this is happening. Yeah, fun girly. And like Eris. Eris just. Eris wow. there, like. Mm. <laughs> Look. I'm gonna do that someday. <laughs> yeah, you you will, you will shoot thingies out of the thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna run run to Sephora's like maybe maybe she has like guns somewhere on the side and I'm gonna no. like take one of the guns. Oh, no. I'm just gonna like yeah. I'm gonna be so yeah. Cool. Go go go, 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 go shoot thingies. Yeah. Oh, they are not loaded. <laughs> 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 this is just this little girl. chaos. <laughs> and so, we'll, as we move along, uh, the characters of uh, Simon and uh, Lurik, mm -hmm. after doing their whole thing around the uh, carnival, arrive over at the... Uh, at the big top, mm -hmm. uh, meet up with the. Uh, they're just peeking. You guys are peeking in. You guys are checking out what's going on. Yeah. You yeah. see Sephora Fedora doing her thing. Um, 
You see the guns, yeah, the guns are just yeah. like, she's unloading on all these guys. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> um, as this is going on, uh, your characters uh, meet for the first time. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, um, as you guys peek in, Tina and Era know, you guys both know that you're not allowed to have like, uh, like kids unsupervised running around so you guys have the option to either tell on these two or because like the old witch hand's right there so you guys can tell the old witch hand uh you know right, right. Uh, I'm gonna arrow will come like... over to them and and see oh. and see are you lost uh, Simon's gonna so this whole time Simon is like going around running around pretending to be like this this like um, vigilante superhero of the night with his hood up and then he's like pretending like he's Batman going around like being as stealthy as fuck right he peeks yes. his head through the tent sees Sephora Fedora and immediately is like whoa and then I guess maybe Lurik is like uh, jumping around behind him, pushes him accidentally from the back, and then that's like Simon falls into the tent. Falls into the tent, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Uh, as Era says that, hey, are you lost? Simon's gonna say, lost? No, no, no. Uh, and then looks around and sees Lorik and then says, no, that's my dad. Your dad? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Your dad has drums? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He likes playing his drums. It, it calms him down. Oh, he was he like, was... wait, wait, wait. Got a problem with that? Wait a minute. Got a problem with my drums? I've, I've got, I've still got the unloaded guns, <laughs> guns of Sephora Fedora, and I'm like, I'm like twirling them, and I'm like, listen, you have to tell the truth here. I'm not sure I buy this, and I'm like pointing <laughs> <laughs> these unloaded guns. Oh hey, God. hey, hey, if. Don't you point that thing at me if you and then he takes out like a small slingshot. Yeah, I got what? something oh my, my I got I got something like like two, you know, like you you better put that away before I do something about it. Tina Tina laughs and puts the gun away and says, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where where'd you come from, pal? <laughs> And then, yeah, we just talk about a little bit, and then we, you know, uh, get, I guess tell, Again. Simon shares, like, that he's from, like, uh, nearby in, like, a, a town. It's, it's a poorer town, uh, and then he had to sneak in through the carnival because he can't. He doesn't tell them that he snuck in. <laughs> yeah, he, no, no, no. Yeah, he rolls with the story that Lurik is his dad. <laughs> yes. And somehow it beard. goes through. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes, this 10 year old person is somehow able to be this other 10 year old vet. And we're yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you do have a beard, so. <laughs> but I guess at this point, uh, since you guys are huddled together, there's like guns twirling, and this is enough to catch the uh, eye of the old witch light hand. Ooh. And she just comes like straight for you guys and like goes and grab, grab, <laughs> grabs Era and uh, 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 yeah, Tina and just like uh, yanks them out of that group and then approaches both um, uh, Lurik and Simon and tells them that just wait right here. Where are your parents? All that stuff. And uh, after a while, as she, she, she like tells you guys off, screams at you guys, uh, and I guess you guys are gonna roll with that story. And that Lorik is the dad, so I don't know if you want to play something out, um, Tanya with uh, Lorik. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're a grown oh, man. <laughs> I'm a grown ten-year-old man. Um, Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, because I'm still so confused on what's going on with this old lady here screaming at the top of her lungs towards these two 
people, um, I kind of freak out. So like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm obviously their dad. Like, what you gonna do about it, huh? Like, I'm see this beard does does not see like I have ye- many many years of knowledge and experience. So who are you to tell me that I'm not like this rabbit? Rabbit's father, huh? What you, what you talking about, huh? If that makes yeah. sense, yeah. What you talking about, huh? Yeah, yeah like, you, uh, you better, you better, uh, like, um, watch, watch what you do. Wait. <laughs> my dad, oh, you don't want to see my dad angry. Like, you see that drum? That's his. That's his. <laughs> anger management drum okay if okay if he starts banging on that drum and then he gets angry (laughs) (laughs) she just like shakes her head she's like what is going on this is not (laughs) happening to me right now we have a whole we have a whole set a whole routine to like deal with with this little kid so she just drags them both away and uh she calls on two other witch light hands to drag you both out. Now, as you both are dragged out of the uh, out of the carnival, uh, would you both please roll me a d8? Okay. So telling you how to do that is this one exclamation mark r one d eight like that without the parentheses. Um, I'm waiting for your instruction to Ah, oh, shit, I put it in which live chat, sorry. Uh, but I rolled a six. A six, okay. Like I'll note that down. Okay. Six and a four. I rolled a four. I thought you rolled a four. Alright. This is the microphone. All right, give me a second, guys, because that's supposed to be a thing. Um, Dude, Sephora Fedora is so hot. I'm in love with this person. <laughs> God damn. I had I had that in mind when I made her. I was like, she has to be like this conjured. Femme fatale. This femme fatale. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Gosh dang it, where is that? Sorry guys, just give me one quick second here. Uh, all good DM? Yes? I said it. it's all good. Okay. You're doing a great all job. Good. We love yes. it. Appreciate you guys. All right, so those D8s, okay, seven and a four. Oh, shit, okay. Um, no, no, six and a four. Six and a four, oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Oh, even better. Um, uh, even worse. So, for Tonio, um, as you, as you exit the uh, the carnival, you start to feel some sort of something's different. Something's missing. This is, this applies to you as well, Simon. Okay. But yeah, so for you, Tonya, the next the, like for one one quick moment, you're looking up and you have your drum. The next moment, your drum is gone. This drum that's always been with you from the start, that's always like kept you company as a kid, yeah. just disappears. What? Drum disappears. And for Wayne, um, <laughs> your ears uh, is here. <laughs> you're <laughs> unfortunate. No, uh, Wayne, you cannot tell where you're going. Um, you are disoriented for a second. You come out of that carnival thinking, where is north? Where is oh, south? No. Where is east? Where is west? I have no idea what those mean, where those are. Uh, so you lose your sense of, uh, sense of direction. Oh, no. But are we, like, Luric and I, 
and Simon they're together or you guys are together outside of the carnival right now yes okay got it yeah yes so while Lurik is like where's my drum where's my drum Simon is like we better go this way and then he walks for a while and then he's like no no, no I meant I meant I meant the other way <laughs> that way <laughs> yeah, 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 like that we have that scene outside so that's what's happening outside um you guys don't know why you guys don't know any of that but um i guess this comes as something that, that you guys will want to like figure out later on i'm guessing um so this is how i'm gonna so that's the end for the flashback thing uh okay we time skip yeah so we time skip to uh, you guys eight years later so uh, that's how I lost my drum. All right. That's how I lost your drum. So that's it. I Eight have years. it now. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a drum in my inventory. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> that works. Uh, so yeah, if you guys like want to do something like eight years like if you want to like elaborate on what you guys did during the eight years in between um the reappearance of the carnival you guys can i don't know what your characters were doing during that time uh if you guys want to if you guys don't want to that's fine we can just move on yeah someone else can start time skip i guess the I'll, I'll, i can area. start yeah, well, Tina, Tina obviously looks up to Sephora Fedora, um, has probably been banned from touching her guns ever again because it's just dangerous. So, yes, um, yeah. but because she wants to be so much like this person she looks up to and she like begs her to be, to like, please be my mentor, please, 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 I'll never touch your guns ever again. I'll, I'll do, I'll do. And then she looks around, sees a longbow. I'll do this instead. And she's like, she like shoots a longbow through the top of a tent and it, it like tears a hole in the ceiling of the tent. <laughs> and so far, but like, all right, all right, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll let you do that. Just don't shoot anymore. Um, it's like yay and so but over time Tina like tries to like model herself after Sephora Fedora and and like becomes more la, uh, like oh darling like of course like like that becomes oh more of, of that way have that but um try to get a little bit of her her, her charm from Sephora Sephora Fedora yeah and eventually, you know, I don't know if Sephora Fedora is still there. She moves on to a bigger, she, better carnival, but... Yeah. Uh, she does. She, she does not die, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she, uh, she moves on to a different carnival, yes. Okay, and, and Tina is now on the, on the line. Uh, yeah, because I think... Yeah, because I think like the moment um, the owners decide, you you have never met the owners, by the way. Even if you were like oh. main one, you've never met the owners. Interesting. Uh, uh, and so, like, but the owners decide that after a while, you know, Tina's gaining more supporters. You're bringing in like She's a different the star crowd. Now. And so, yeah, so she's more hip. Basically, uh, so yes, so as the Cobra, cool kids say. Huh? <laughs> yes, she is more hip, as the cool kids say. As, as the cool, cool kids. kids. <laughs> that is. <laughs> the cool so, kids. Is that what the cool kids from, say? From like, the '90s. <laughs> How charming. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, Sephora exits the carnival, and in comes Tina Valentina, headlining every single show Ooh. that uh, hey. that happens. It goes down. Thank you, thank you. How about Era. Uh, Era, since you know Tina and Era grew up for that entirety of the eight years, right? I assume we're we're best friends. So throughout your journey of you know stardom, I just be like, yes, go girl, yeah. <laughs> And that's that's gonna be my role but i would like to be more into i would say here in the dragonfly ride or wherever attraction there, yeah? yeah wherever attraction that is mostly associated with animals performing aminals yeah 
So I will be I will be <laughs> training them. Aminos. I'll train them and then you know just talk to them as if they were my friends, right? So Eras, I mean Tina is this like cool uh hip girl the coolest girl in the carnival and she's just here best friends with the weirdest and most loner girl in the carnival so that's that's the nice. situation that's going on Let's go. right okay. now the, the, the no but you're the, like you're oh go ahead the, the kid with the exotic pets you know the one yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think it's just the one who, who tolerates her yeah <laughs> No, you have the but 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 Tina sees in you this like huge like amazing ability to communicate with animals and like you're the best trainer in the whole carnival and like like Tina knows that and like she yeah. admires you that for yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, for Era, I, let's say I guess um, I was thinking she would have her own things, uh, big top, while like yeah. while. Uh, Tina's that, like that soaring through the sky thing. doing her thing. Yes. And then like. You're down there with the uh, like ring of fire, and you're like throwing lions and yes. stuff through the ring of fire. Sure. I don't know. Sure, sure. We can sure. do that, my lad. I can do that. Also. Um, you train the animals so that I can also like like ride on top of them and do like backflips, and then they do yeah. like their own thing, whatever you yeah. train them to do, yes. and it becomes a combined show. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Nice. So we could have that happen. So you guys have this uh, joint uh, Performance show stuff. thing going on, yeah. And then like at the end of like a show, like like Era's like shy is just like yay, and then like Tina goes and like grabs her hand like to bring her to the forward to bow like in front of everyone, you know, like. And... Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Darling, you did great. That was magnificent. Uh... <laughs> Excellent. Nice. Fantastic, guys. For uh, everyone else, Simon, Lurk. Yeah, go, Lurk. <laughs> you can go. <laughs> you got it. I know. Um, <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing? Um, hmm. um, you got eight well, years. Yeah. Maybe I am for the last eight years. So the management of the carnival saw that like hey this guy's got anger issues right and then mm. he seems to be enjoying you know hitting things so um <laughs> no, he's, but uh, we're, he's we're the manager of the carnival. Of... No, no no you're not part of the we're carnival, not the carnival. So, oh. so 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 oh yeah oh, right. so the, what happens with the carnival is uh it comes around every eight years so as you guys are leaving and the night ends the carnival exits and it's not there anymore but you could be working oh, for like a local thing, like a co local carnival thing. You could have that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. If you okay. want. Um, what about um? For, so I'm out of the carnival. I've been out of the carnival for last for last years. All right. So, um, because I'm hella pissed off at the the old lady who kicked me out and and then tossed my drum away. So for the last since I'm a crafty person. I, I go to town and I work for a local smith and use and then since it's like um, drumming because like I'm hammering on metal, so it's as if I I, I can do it. Works. Yes, yeah. So yeah, and while and while at the same time, I have a I have a picture on the wall of my workstation um, and it's my the drum. drum. It's my drum. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. old drum. <laughs> that old drum. <laughs> And I do. I'm not necessarily plotting a romantic thing, but like I'm just remembering my drum, and yeah. Yes. <laughs> so good. Yes. I love this. <laughs> Instead of drumming, you're now ting, ting, ting. banging on metal now. Yeah. Yes. Hey. When, nice. when you get angry, you get the urge to forge a lot of swords. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> just brings out. He's just casually it. running around with like a, a like a slab of stone and just starts banging on like. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, that's tight. Uh, so you work for the local Smith now. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Simon, what are you up to? For Simon, what have you been up to? Uh, because mm -hmm. he's like uh, he comes from like a poorer family. Maybe after leaving the carnival and like getting lost in the forest, he comes out 
him and Lurie come out and then uh, they stay friends for a while but then eventually they part ways because uh, Simon's family has to move yeah. away to like a, yeah. like a part of town that's like more affordable for them or like a different a different hamlet completely where it's like more affordable for them uh, but simon continues to have this like uh naivete and like um wonder of the world for a while uh, and then he's ev- whenever he gets the chance to play he goes around and he puts the cowl the the little cowl on and pretends he's like a mini superhero uh until like finally he becomes old enough to join the city watch and then he joins them he's like a you know cadet like police officer like rookie in training (laughs) and then he realizes later after like a few cases in that you know even the cops are like crooked and corrupt and like not following the law completely and then he realizes that the world isn't so black and white and that there are a lot of grays and then it just changes his mindset and then his uh his wonder and like naiveness of the world like goes away and then uh he becomes this like sour um bitter type of character and then uh uh, he leaves the city watch to become his own private investigator but he doesn't have like the the his like biggest clients so far have been like someone who's lost their kitten and then Simon was able yeah. to track down the kitten. And then, just little cases, yeah. Yeah, just little cases. Like someone like um he he's like walking behind someone and then they drop their wallet and then Simon picks it up and then gives it to them and then he considers that like a case closed. Case closed. <laughs> yeah, like and then, and then yeah, um eight years oh, after God. when he picks up news of the Witchlight Carnival returning to the region, uh he sees that as an opportunity to like go back to like uh look for the answers to the questions he have uh, he had for you know those like eight years or like eight years ago you know so yeah dope okay yeah so uh your sense of direction has not come back by the way you're still uh, oh my god what's that battling oh that you must be a for very the past bad, bad. <laughs> holy crap I'd say it your makes parents. it really difficult to solve c- crimes. <laughs> yeah, that's, what was, that's what I was thinking. Like, uh, maybe your parents decided to move because, like, they needed to find a better doctor or something, like, oh, just no. to help you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. know where you're going. Yeah. Um, oh, jeez. Uh, your so sense funny. of direction might be bad, but when you are in, like, I can see, like, I can see uh, if you're like in that area or in that general car, and you know where you're, when you're trying yeah, yeah. to, you can He's get got to where like, you need to get. So he carries around like a notebook that flips out like that way, <laughs> like, the, yeah, the like reporters and detectives, oh and then he has one page that <laughs> are just like pages that he glued together so that it opens up into it this opens. like intricate map. <laughs> so. Uh, that's what he relies on like almost all the time when he's going around and he like opens the map and say, I know I went I know I went north, but was that actually south? And then he's like turning yeah. around. And like, he starts turning. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how he goes around like reliably like semi reliably nowadays. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Love. Um, all right. Take care. So your characters, age, in, uh, eight years. Uh, all right. Yeah. So we'll go back to to the beginning again as the uh, same thing. We got the uh, open space. We got the people there. Um, uh, we got the smoke coming out out of you know thin air and coming out the carnival comes in and I would say this time around when uh, your character would be actively seeking out the carnival because okay. you think like your sense of direction might be tied to you know what happened yeah, yeah, all those yeah. years ago 
so you find yourself coming back to the uh, the carnival. So you know, I guess you're just <laughs> you're like going around in circles, like you're in a maze. But you like you should know where you're going. Um, you yeah. have a good idea of where you're supposed to go. Um, as you're figuring your way to the uh, Witchlight Carnival, I'd say um, uh, out of nowhere. <laughs> Out of nowhere, Lorik shows up again. Surprisingly, <laughs> out of nowhere, because why would that happen? Uh, <laughs> I guess Lorik, you just uh, you're looking drum. for your old drum. You want that old <laughs> drum? You still got that poster <laughs> popping up. It's been eight years. You're looking at that sweet eight. drum of yours for eight years as you're banging on those, like you know, making all them swords and shields and armor. <laughs> You got that poster right there, so you're looking for that drum. Um, yeah. You find yourself coming back, and you see uh, Wayne. You're 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 not yet there. So uh, entrance uh, um, uh, carnival, I would say. You're like on your way, and you just see like Wayne, like Simon's, like fidgeting around like bushes and like peeking around trees and stuff, and like you know, seeing if he's going where he's supposed to go. Uh, so, uh, what do you do? Uh, I... <laughs> He's just there by the tree, I guess. Uh, so I guess you drag him? Uh... I'm like, uh, I, I, I see him by the tree and, and I'm like, Hey, aren't you my son? <laughs> yes. Simon turns around, sees where that comes from, sees Lurik, and, and does not recognize this dwarf. He looks completely different from before, like beard fully grown, balding, got a, got a, yes. got a, what is it called? The, the smoke pipe thing? It's <laughs> like, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm your we'll son, I'm not your son, that's ridiculous. So, uh, uh, a herring on the son of a dwarf like that? Wait a minute. Lurik? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, it's me, it's me. I haven't seen you in eight freaking years. Eight like, years? It looks like it's been 30 like, years for you. <laughs> <laughs> what? I Did you go through, like, like anger therapy or something? I don't think it worked, because you... You did not age so well, my dude. <laughs> Lurik looks like this now. Oh my god, it's crazy. Yes. Oh, oh yes, my bad, my bad, yeah. Alright, there you go. Oh my god. And, and then This uh, is Simon. 18 year old Lurik. <laughs> this is 18 year old Lurik. <laughs> He's Amazing. <laughs> Simon Simon continues and says, Well anyway, remember that carnival that we that we encountered all those years ago? I'm actually looking for that same carnival right now. I know I'm close. Like and then as he's talking to Lorik, like the carnival lights are like shining behind him and shit. It's like yeah, I can just I, right there. Like I can I can feel it in my ears and in my tail, you know, that we're, we're close, like, and then he opens the map. I remember that a few years, those all these years ago, and then he, like, continues, like, it's somewhere here, it's somewhere here. So you guys are, like, walking down the road while this is going, uh, this is going on, and, uh, there's, like, this piece of newspaper that just, like, flies through the wind and hits you in the face, uh, Lurik. As you uh, peel it out of your face, uh, you see on the front page uh, the headlines like uh, uh, Vigilante on the run, saves uh, abandoned mine, miners stuck in abandoned mine, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they call him the Dusk Bunny. And uh, so you just peel it off of your face and... Uh, you're like, what the frick is this? And you've seen it, like, this guy's been on the news for a while now. This Dusk Bunny character's been on the news. So you're like, well, okay, yeah, I just... So I'm guessing you chuck it, or you throw it away, yeah, it's just whatever at this point. 
And so, uh, yeah, you guys go on your way. Um, now you guys can decide freely if you guys have money. Um, if you guys want to pay, <laughs> if you guys want to pay your way in, or if you guys want to sneak in again for old time's sake. <laughs> So, as Lurik's pulling um, Simon o Simon towards the carnival, Simon's like, "Why are you taking me? No, I'm going to the carnival. I'm, go oh, we're here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll pay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Simon like, will pay. Sneaking didn't work the last time, so let's pay this time, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got some gold. As... Uh, how much? How much to enter? Right, so before you guys make it to the uh, entrance, like a little bit close, you guys are hella close. Because, uh, like, there's just, like, from this one bush area, a bunch of, like, little kids start popping up. Uh huh. And they, like, fuss around and, like, mess around with you guys. I would like oh, no. both of you to roll a d20, just a straight, like, a d20. Is it the same as before? Yeah. Same as before, yeah. just 1d20. Yeah. Oh, snap! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Let's go! Alright. Um, oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exclamation mark R plus 1d20. 19! Hey, let's go! Let's go! Oh, no. So what happens? One of the kids, so you notice, both of you notice, like one of the kids attempts to like pickpocket you and take out your gold. And so you guys avoid it. Simon just like weaves his hand across, like fucking, I don't fucking know. This martial arts, the kids will hand away and like tells him off. And then like Lorix just like slaps the hand away, <laughs> slaps them, starts slapping them away. <laughs> like they're fucking, like they're fucking flies. Just like, fuck, fuck these kids. <laughs> I can imagine like Lurik's hand being so big that he just slaps it, but the kid goes Tuk! and then fall, flies like four feet like into a bush. <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's what's yes. going on. He's just yeah. like fucking... Off the frame. Off Lurik yeah. doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the kids kids start flying everywhere. Of course, Simon's more gentle and stuff. Um, and so they're off to the side, and you guys, you know, dust yourselves off. I was like, whatever. Uh, you find yourselves at the entrance to... Uh, you guys are greeted by the... Uh, uh, this guy, wait. Where is that bear? Come on. You guys are greeted by this old goblin guy. Name's Nicholas Midnight. But we don't know his name. Uh, I'd say there was like a, there's a little card at the front where his name's just right there. I wouldn't um, think he'd. <laughs> they could just say that. Tag. There's a name tag. Yeah, there's a name tag, a small like thing on the front. <laughs> hey, the name's Nicholas Midnight. So what are you kids up to? Uh, Simon, Simon's like the name Shoftail, Simon Shoftail, private investigator, and uh, I'm, I need to be like inspecting your carnival. It's not quite up to standard, you know. Well, I'll let you have here. And he starts pulling out the uh, like mayor's permit, barangay permit, whatever <laughs> permit you gotta find. Like he's 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 taking out all the permits. He's got like a big flat like like a, a fat like uh, binder just full of like papers. They had to like you know yeah. make sure that, I, this I, is I, this I, is all legal. This is all this is all we have. All right, you can check it all you want, but I want to hear. I want to see some information from you. All right, let me see some information from you. Oh yeah, 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 for okay. sure, for sure, and then. Simon takes yes. out his old like city watch badge and then he like crushed out the city watch and then like just wrote <laughs> PI on top on it. <laughs> oh no. Alright. You nearly had me there, kid. This is some this is a piece of work right here. Now I'm gonna tell you this. Uh I think you could go to jail for this one. I don't think you're supposed to be running around crossing out the uh city the city watch uh name. 
No, no, no. They're just that's, putting your own thing over that's, it. That's, 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 that's up to standard. That's how we do it back over uh, in... And then he says his town's name. I didn't make a name for it. But so, that's when we graduate <laughs> from the City Watch and we become private investigators. That's what you do. It's a We're rite of passage. This, this, is, <laughs> this is nuts. Because <laughs> they've been doing this for a while and this has never happened. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Give me deception. Good God. Deception, okay. Deception. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my not God. happening. Not happening, man. He is not buying whatever it is you're putting down. Uh... <laughs> Damn. Uh, well, uh, uh, so if, you you see, don't, uh... if you don't believe mm. me, then... Uh... Okay, you can confiscate that. I'll just go through the carnival as a patron. Is that okay? I'll pay. Oh, no, that's fine. That's all good. Okay, you know, no. You just, you just rattled my, uh, my old beard here. My old, you know. I, I, I wasn't ready for you. And so he just, like, puts back all the permits, takes out the binder, puts it back on, uh, like, one of the desks. Uh, yeah. And, uh, uh, <laughs> so you guys have to pay, uh, like, 20 gold to get in each uh, since you're adults 20 each yeah oh my oh geez okay okay you uh, guys mark that off the sheet. yeah so just uh note that down for you guys that'll be 20 gold younglings love the voice of this Nicholas Midnight. <laughs> Good job, bro. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just... <laughs> Freaking awesome. As, as like, Simon right enters, now. as he surrenders the, the City Watch badge, PI badge, uh, after walking past Nicholas Midnight, he takes out another badge. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Nicholas Midnight, before you guys go in, Nicholas Midnight calls you guys. Wait a minute, right? You can't just go in without wearing these. And he pulls out these uh, like little fairy wings that you ah. guys have to put on while you're running around. <laughs> Whoa. So your character is, because he says there's like a special policy uh, thing, uh, but it's just to ensure that you guys are safe and you know, that you guys actually paid to be inside. That's how they know right. you paid. Okay. So you guys put on those. Uh, Got Fairy it. wings. Uh, Simon will check the wings before putting them on. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, what role is that DM? Uh, he's not looking for anything magical. He's like, you know, is this legit or like... Are, are there spikes that I are can tell you right now it's, him in the back? It's legit. I, okay, okay. Yeah, don't, <laughs> yeah, as far as you're concerned, this was like some... Uh, I, I wouldn't say it's old. I feel like they change their wings like every eight years. They'd have that option, so... Got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good, yeah. He's, he's not gonna get COVID from it. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. You're all good. You're all set. Um, uh, so... We have that, and uh, yeah, so you have those wings. You guys are making your way through the uh, through the carnival, and as you guys make it through the carnival, you just made it in time for the. Uh, so the carnival is like an eight-hour thing, an eight-hour event. You guys made it through the uh, first hour, where you notice this big tree. Uh, wow! He should be there somewhere, mate. There is a thing going on while you guys are there. Uh, you guys are in, by the way. Yeah. Uh, let me find my guy. Where is my? Guy? He's somewhere here. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah. So <laughs> you guys just see a uh, tree with a little squirrel on top of it, uh, running around, walking around the. Uh, general area Jesus. um this is i don't think i have the token anywhere so i'll just plop it up right here you have this guy 
His oh, name wow. is Northwind. Cool. Wow. All right, so you guys see Northwind is walking around. And uh, so, yeah, so like uh, this, like this walking tree just covered in like golden ribbons, like marching around. Uh, you see kids like just playing around with his branches and all that stuff. And uh, as you guys are passing through, you notice some of the kids are trying to catch all these um, uh, nuts or like, what do you call them? Uh, seeds. Acorns? Sorry. Yeah, the seeds are like uh, <laughs> seeds are like falling off, and so you guys can uh, you see this happening? You guys can join in. You guys can just go along your own way and find your way across the. Uh... <clears throat> um, Simon sees the tree, uh, sees the wings on his back, and is like, "Okay, following the rules, yeah, excellent." <laughs> <laughs> Inspector. <laughs> Just running around with his inspector conjun. Yeah. Inspector thing. Uh Lurik, what do you want to do? Uh you can attempt to catch one of the uh seeds if you want or um short sure, plan. Like right. these kids are enjoying let's try and pick up these damn seeds. Sweet. <laughs> uh okay. <laughs> You can roll a uh, dexterity check. Uh, so that's C dex, I think. Wayne, I think, <clears throat> right? Exclamation mark C space dex, like that. I got a 12. 12. You got a 12. You get a seed. Yeah. You get nice. one sycamore seed. Uh, I get the seed. I get the seed and 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 point it at a kid and like suck it, kid. Like I got. I got <laughs> you just start bullying <laughs> the kids. <laughs> this is just Lurik's thing now. Lurik just hates kids. Like slaps kids out in the front and then comes in and then like starts. Okay. I have anger management and I hate people. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Um, okay. Uh, I'd love for you to uh, roll a d8 as well, so we can see what the uh, what the seed gives you. What's the the thing? This is like a walking like gotcha machine. Is that what they're called? Like the yeah, the like basically yeah. <laughs> I got a dose. You got a dose. Uh. Uh okay, so you're <laughs> um mm. Can you get sick and die. Oh no. No uh, not that bad. Uh you get a no, per... <laughs> no, no, no no you get a personality trait. You get a personality trait. You are easily amused for the whole uh yeah, you're in <laughs> so you basically got laughing gas <laughs> <laughs> so you see so if you see something crazy or like something like just something mundane, you think it's something crazy. You're just like fucking. Oh my god, this is the funniest thing on the planet. Like this is just mind bending stuff. Uh, but it's actually just you know some kid like throwing rocks on the ground or something. <laughs> you got <laughs> so that's that's where your mind's at right now. I don't know if that was so much a gift or. <laughs> um, how do I like intertwine my anger management with this super interesting thing? For the thing? first time, you feel great for the first time in your life, Lurik. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, as you guys are wa as Northwind and the uh, squirrel passes by, they proceed with the uh, with the thing. Uh, you guys um, notice a familiar sight in the big top. You guys, because you guys aren't supposed to go in the big top yet because the main event hasn't started. But there's like a little like opening satent where you guys can sneak a peek and you guys see a familiar figure in um, Era. Because uh, Era still, Era, I would say Era's not wearing. It's the same thing. Where is the same thing? Era's wearing the same thing from eight years ago, but Era's only grown. Like, Nidakoran size such uh, outfits. Okay. That's what okay. I would. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My outfit's very organic, you know. Yes. 
Yeah. Yes. I change my, very... bell, my bell pepper hat every day. Every day. Very, very environment, environment friendly, you know, eco friendly yeah, stuff. We're, we're... <laughs> she, looks yeah. like, she looks like that. Oh, nice. I... nice, nice. Damn, nice. okay. Nice. Love uh, your outfit, darling. Thank you. Just lovely. It's made from leaves. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, I can see that. Very <laughs> natural. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, you hear the, as the two of uh, Simon and Lorik, you guys hear this conversation. Uh, they're just like, I guess you guys are talking about fashion, and so uh, the two of you hear these like familiar voices. You see a familiar figure. Um, up to you guys whether you proceed to go in or what would you guys want to do. Oh, the lost kids! They're big now! <laughs> oh, wow! Aerith Air sees them! Oh, Aerith sees them hey, and you? does her thing. Let's go. The lost ki Oh, hey, Lurik, it's the... It's, it's those... Girls we met eight years ago, and, uh... Let's be careful yeah, with the nice. other one. The one who, who, who shot a lot of guns and, and stuff. <laughs> and I see her dress... Her her leafy organic vegan friendly dress. Vegan. Vegan. <laughs> and I started laughing my ass off because it's because it's oh, I'm so oh. amused and entertained by this. Oh hi hi lost kid and and lost kid's dad. You're you're <laughs> oh you're big now. I forgot wow. about that. <laughs> <laughs> I slap Simon so hard and they're like, haha, she still thinks <laughs> I'm your dad! <laughs> <laughs> Simon just flies off screen. <laughs> uh, Simon picks himself up from the ground, like patting his, his trench coat and whatever. He looks back as I. Actually, Tina's gonna ha leave, like, have a handout. Ah, yeah. Like, because you've flown off the ground, Tina's like, there you go. Simon uh, takes the hand. You pull him up, but then you... Simon realizes then, oh, you're short. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like, it's off. <laughs> yeah. It so, doesn't work. Okay, you help me sit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Simon, like, stands up uh, the rest of the way, I guess. <laughs> uh, but while still holding your hand, Simon will shake it and then let go and say, "Um, the name's uh, Softail, Simon Softail. This is uh, your dad. Let's call him my friend, oh. Lorik. Uh, I knew you were lying. <laughs> <laughs> and you are." Tina, and this is my friend Era. Yeah. Hi. So your your dad is your friend? Of course. Wouldn't you want your father to be your friend too? Well, well, Tina is my friend. Does that mean she's my mom? <laughs> oh no! No, really. oh, God. I'm just your friend. Oh, yeah, 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 right, right, right. <laughs> oh, you, you're here to, to watch Tina perform, yeah? Uh, actually, I'm here to, and as he, he's about to say, like, investigate, he sees, like, a corner of his eye, like, other goblin guards walking around and then he hides his badge yeah. and he's like yeah yeah we're here to watch the performance excellent yes we will show don't we era yeah yeah she's really good are you good oh, please darling what you do <laughs> are you, you good S simon oh uh, simon Am I good? I, you know what I think? I think good and evil. There are no absolutes in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you just go off on this tag for 
you're like I'm beyond justice and <laughs> he goes he goes into this narration <laughs> he's like, he's like the world, there's no such thing as good and evil. Trust me. I'm <laughs> dying. Is, okay. Oh gets, dear. Gets like, lost in oh it. dear. I, I think uh, I think wait, we need a little bit of tea. Would you like to have some tea? <laughs> oh yeah, I'd like some tea. Have down. some carrot tea. Some carrot tea. Well, I'm sure we can find something. Yeah. Uh, and then, I guess I'll lead him. Carotene. Carotene. <laughs> I guess we'll go. We can go into the backstage of the big tent where, like, I have like a dressing room, I assume, um, and like a teapot, and like try to find something. Uh, Era, do you know where you put the carrots? <laughs> <laughs> well, the carrots. Oh, don't worry, I got some, some I, over here. <laughs> I, I you have got carrots. Like you have carrots? carrots? Yeah. <laughs> In my pocket. It's like the carrots who feed, like, donkeys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're, like, mangled. And, like, they, they've been <laughs> in my pocket for weeks. <laughs> you want? Here. Oh, excellent. Um, Simon, will poli <laughs> Simon will politely take one, right? And yeah, this will do. And as he turns to hand it to Tina to make the tea, he switches it for a fresher carrot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tina, 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 like, do, 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 puts it, puts it all together, brews like a pot or something. And, uh, all right, makes a tea. Like, here you go. Here you go. And I, I hand each of you a tea, and then I sip one myself with my with my pinky out. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, magnificent. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Uh, uh, cheers. Simon, cheers. Cheers with you guys. And as you hear the the cups tink, like Simon's cup is already empty. <laughs> tink. <laughs> He just, just, he just took it like a shot. That's just fucking <laughs> just straight gun. <laughs> I, I, I like pick up and like fill like just like just like oh here you go darling. Okay. Put a little bit more. <laughs> oh, we can get you some front row seats too if you're here to see the show. Yes, we sh you should have a magnificent view. After all, we have known you for eight years. Well, not really. <laughs> just continues going on with, like some sort of. <laughs> monologue. Just have her own monologue. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Uh, so the so you guys enjoy your tea time, you know, chatting about stories, what happened in between those eight years. Uh, you um realize uh, Tina and Era that you guys have time. You see that there's like three hours or something into three hours into the uh. And before you guys uh, say, hit the stage. So you guys have the option to go together, all four of you. And uh, you guys could maybe guide uh, Simon and uh, Lorik around the uh, carnival. If you guys want. Yeah. Um, you know, you should be thankful. Because, because Tina's coming with you. You should have front row seats. Yeah. That's in front of the stage. So it is. It is in front of the stage. The best views in the house. Mm -hmm. Oh, Era, darling, would you like to show them your animals? Oh, Era is so, so wonderful with the animals. And, and I call a frog, please. <laughs> Look! <laughs> a frog! <laughs> people, people kiss frogs. You want to kiss my frog? Sench, but no. <laughs> Why not? I, I, you got a ton I of will kiss everywhere. This <laughs> is a nasty looking frog. <laughs> like a toad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like a it toad. Up. It's like... Rip it. <laughs> yeah, it's <big> ass... <laughs> and it's just it's just not even looking at you guys, it's just staring at Lurik. It's just like eyeing Lurik like <laughs> Kiss my frog! Because like it's like Lurik's the most intimidating, I guess. Like, <laughs> the bulkiest looking. So he's like, he's like I'm not gonna shy down from you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Alpha frog. Uh, <laughs> I'm completely unaware of what 
and John are saying that I'm just like having a staring showdown with the frog right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! My my frog says hi, hi. Uh, kiss. Just stares him down. <laughs> that was no, it. This no fucking kiss? doesn't say anything. Okay. Nah, I will. Oh, I will keep the right frog here. back. <laughs> Well, have you guys, uh, have you, uh, gentlemen, seen much of the carnival so far? No? No. Wow, we'll have to remedy Maybe. that. <laughs> no. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's take, take you, take you on the tour. Uh, we'll, we'll take you on the gondola swans, I guess. All what right. I see here. All right, so that's where you guys want to go first, Gondola Swan. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Sure. See here. All right. Here we you go. You guys go to the Gondola Swans. You guys see these big swans just gliding through the water, pulling out like these wooden gondolas draped in freaking flowers and. Uh, yeah, they just so you see the route is just outside the uh, outside the perimeter. The, uh, Ooh, yeah, perfect. perimeter of the. So you guys get to like see the whole thing, the whole car. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah, so we'll we'll hop on one of those, and as we go around the perimeter, I'll like point stuff out, and that's where the <laughs> giant elephants are, and that's where the treants sleep, and 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 oh, that's. That's where my room is, right there. And, uh, yeah. um, um, and, the, and the Pixie Show is just fabulous. You really have to see it afterwards. I mean, we're only here for eight hours. Um, <laughs> and snail racing, snail racing, it is just riveting. Oh, darling, you should see the snails and the suspense as they inch past each other. And, and so on and so forth. I mean, so you Simon... may or may not be listening to me at all. <laughs> Simon picks up on the eight hours and then he as as we're going walking around <clears throat> simon asks so the carnival appears every eight years and when you do appear you're only here for eight hours is that correct that's right where do you go when you disappear trade secret darling trade secret <laughs> Um, uh, actually, I was thinking about applying to be like part of the, the, the carnival, you know? Uh, so... Excellent! I can, I can have you talk to somebody. I know just the guy. Maybe Henry would love to talk to you. Um, but I'm afraid you won't get any information until you get accepted. It's just the way it works. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay. Uh... And then they, they, Simon continues to silently walk. But like Simon, like every now and then breaks into like a monologue that he thinks he's saying in his head, like in those film noir films, but he's accidentally yeah, 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 yeah. saying them out loud. No. So he's like, yeah. <laughs> so he's like, Tina Valentina, the 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 little trapeze artist who claims that oh. and then like he says this out loud accidentally like as you're walking <laughs> he's just like as you as you say the little the little trapeze artist i say you mean prima prima ballerina darling i am the star of the show tina valentina the prima ballerina and like so now two people are like monologuing <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh <laughs> shit <laughs> Completely <laughs> oblivious of the other. They're just like doing their own thing. They're in yeah. their own worlds. These people are so weird. <laughs> I guess Lurik and Air are vibing on that, yeah. They're so weird. <laughs> what the hell's weird. going on? I guess we're gonna hear and like, hey, what the hell are you talking to, huh? Like, what's going on? What the hell is going on? Yeah. I think. I think there's something wrong with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they they need I... berries. You know berries? berries. There's <laughs> there's like tiny berries. things berries. and I make them out of my hand. I promise they're organic. 
They're organic grain. You Just you want some sounds... berries? Hmm. Sure. Why not? Um, I'll, I'll get a berry. Yeah. <laughs> So I I give yeah, like Lurik a berry, berry and like that the berry. yeah and that yeah, berry the... would be would is good for the whole day and you'll have extra one HP as you eat the berry. Wow. Yeah. What the... Just literally. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, DM. I mean, Era. Thank you so much for playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you're not hurt, but and just in case. This is one one berry, good for the whole day, and you won't get hungry anymore. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. I love the emphasis yeah. on one day. <laughs> yeah, just one day. Just, just one, one day, day, okay? Just one. Lurk's having a good day. He's absolved of his good anger day. issues because everything is amusing. He has plus one to his health. Like, he's just... And he, for one he's day. He's slap babies. For like, one sorry, day. And, oh, what? <laughs> he gets to do... Is that his favorite activity? Slapping kids off the screen? Slapping kids, yes. I didn't... Yes. Not babies, kids. Yes. <laughs> uh... <laughs> so you guys are walking to the gondola swans, yes? Is that like a consensus thing? You guys are gonna go for the gondola? The gondola. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I was assuming we were we were we on, were on one the we gondola, were like rotating. yeah. Rotating. We were like we were like on oh, the way. We were okay. already around. on the gondola, yeah. Oh, okay. So you guys, okay. So as you guys arrive, there's this particular swan lady. Uh, her name's uh, Featherine. Uh, oh, Featherine is the one that. Yeah, Featherine. <laughs> Featherine. Ooh. You're really enjoying these names, though. Oh, yeah, I'm loving these names, man. I'm just. <laughs> Featherine. Uh, Featherine's oh, right Featherine. there. Oh, Featherine! I know hey. Featherine. Featherine! <laughs> Hello, Featherine. Featherine, uh... <laughs> Featherine sees you guys, and Featherine just nods. Oh, children. Oh, please. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> and then we approach, and then Era will say, "Hello, Feathery. This is Simon, and and Simon's dad, and friend." Oh, my God. oh hello, Simon's dad. And hello, Simon. Oh, why don't you give me your uh, uh, hand there? And so, uh, Feathery like grabs your hand, like to drag you guys into the uh, gondola, like using uh, using her neck. He just like grabs your hand and like I don't know how how flexible their necks are, mm. but yeah, she puts oh, you on the gondola. Is a swan? Mm. Feathering is a swan, yes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Okay, Simon. Yeah, Simon just you know goes. Yeah. <laughs> No choice. Is no odd. choice I'm, yeah. I'm gonna say feather, feathering. You really must tell me one day the secret of your, your, your silky feathers. I mean, really, I'd love for my hair to be that silky. Well, you see, us swans, we just have our own oils, and then we, you know, I think I think that's a thing that swans have, though, right? Like they have oils and stuff, which is sure. <laughs> sure, we'll make it a thing. I'll take it. <laughs> we'll go along with it. <laughs> so, so the thing with Featherine is Featherine takes you along for the ride. Uh, along, like midway through the whole thing, Featherine goes, "So, you younglings." What do you think joy is? What is your idea of joy? How do you know I exist? And she starts asking all these like trippy questions. And uh, yeah, so first question is, what are your guys' concepts or like, what are your guys' idea of uh, joy? Okay. <laughs> Everyone gets to answer. I, uh, I'm like stroking. Everyone gets to answer. Stroking, or not, you guys don't have to answer. Her 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 feathers stroking featherings feathers and like looking at the sky and thinking joy joy is being 150 feet in the air tumbling downwards knowing that one of era's um uh, uh uh giant lions is is down there to catch me and and landing like landing on my feet just at the right moment uh ah uh, yes that is joy 
Joy is the perfect moment. That's it. <laughs> this is great. Stroking, <laughs> stroking. Right. Yeah. Meanwhile, Simon is like, Joy is the fleeting moment ever ephemeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <he's dying. laughs> oh, Featherine is shook. Can we? Uh, everyone, can we? Uh, <laughs> can we truly achieve a joy? And once we do achieve it, <laughs> why does it leave so quickly? <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> S- Simon, darling, we must not upset Featherine. She's Featherine so starts like wiggling and like. <laughs> Oh, guys, make a dexterity saving throw oh, <laughs> to stay inside the gondola. <laughs> Let go. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> dexterity saving. Yep. Uh, so it is Ooh. saving dex. That one. Natural 20 for Tina Valentina. Hey. Yes, of course, darling. At 20. Save with an E, babe. How did everyone else do? I'm gonna have Dex. I know what happened. Uh, save. Save. Save the Dex. Like yeah, the... Uh, save, not... Yeah, save, not uh, save. <clears throat> Alright, so far everyone's uh, good. They're all inside the gondola. Yeah. I, I just... I just... <laughs> Lurik, what's happening? Oh, did, did Sorry, Lurik already do it? I don't think so. I don't think I don't, so, I didn't no. see it. Exclamation, no, save Dex. Hold on. I hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh, nice. um, oh no. Yes. <laughs> perfect. Uh, uh, perfect. <laughs> what are you doing? So as, as Simon uh, delivers that very morbid outlook on fucking oh, joy, uh, <laughs> Featherine starts like, like just fucking shaking and just like did not like that oh, and just no. like, starts oh, rocking no. the gondola. As the gondola starts rocking, uh, Lurik, you uh, lose your footing and you slip, <laughs> you slip into the water. Uh, oh no, you fell. Someone get him. He's a mountain <laughs> dwarf. <laughs> He fell. Yeah. He's not. He's not a lake dwarf or a sea dwarf. He's a mountain dwarf. <laughs> oh, oh my dear. god! Get yes, him, get as him. I started drowning, I looked straight into the camera and says, "Like, yes, please save me. I am not. Um, I am clearly a mountain dwarf, and I don't know how to swim." Breaks so. the fourth wall. <laughs> yeah. So, so save me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna, oh, Featherine! I'm gonna like come up to Featherine, stroke the, the neck. Featherine, Featherine, calm down. A, a, a friend has fallen into the water, please. You must save him. Should I? Should I save him? And then, uh, you, but you do, you guys do notice, like, there's like hemp and rope, like, uh, right there. On the side? Yeah. yeah. Simon so grabs those rope. and throws, throws, uh, uh, hurry! Lurik a hurry! Line. Hurry! Oh. Get it! Grab the line, Lurik! Grab it! And I, I wrap it on my arm, just like, like pull, pull, pull me up, pull me up! And I start freaking <laughs> out. Try. What's this? Simon tries. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a skinny bunny, a halfling, <laughs> pulling this mountain dwarf out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will call on some fishes to push you up. <laughs> fishes help help my friend come up. Out of nowhere a uh friggin' shark just comes out of nowhere and <laughs> what? Goes... But it's a shark in costume. It's there's like it's like oh. it has like little oh. uh, baby costume thing going on. <laughs> so it looks cute. But it still looks Please. not great. <laughs> uh, so it just... Oh my god. Uh, so the shark just, uh, like, lets you ride on it, and then uh, brings Lurik oh. by the side of the gondola, and... Yeah, Lurik, you hop back on the gondola, Thank and you're you. on your way. Thank you, Mr. Shark. Thanks. Here's a berry for you. 
Thanks. Thanks. Uh, like, he gets one Joseph. HP too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna call he gets, the shark Joseph. You get one HP also, <laughs> Mr. Joseph, shark. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> Oh, no problem. And then he just starts going down into the water. <laughs> Five, he just goes his way. Uh, and that's all that Joseph wrote. Um, <laughs> you're, back in, you're back in the gondola. <laughs> and yeah. Featherine um, awaits everyone else's. If uh, Lurik and uh, you guys still want to say something about what your outlook is on Joy. You guys can go ahead and do that. You guys can choose not to. That's fine too. Well, what are you thinking? Like yeah, yeah, whichever one of you wants to go first. You can, you can go first. Um. All right. Um. After that tragic, almost um, <laughs> you're drenched. Um, oh my God. Just cold. Dying and like cold, <laughs> freaking water. Um. I say that um my my happiness is when i'm um I, I start i start um what do you call this i say like my happiness is when then i do a a quick pause realizing that this is the first time i've been happy in a long time Aww. because the last time because the last time i was happy was eight years ago when i was banging on my drum. Oh, <laughs> shit. And, uh, and it's gone. And then I started breaking, breaking down. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't cry. No. I started breaking down because I missed my drum so damn much. Oh, no. I'm going to like, run up to this giant dwarf and like cover your mouth so that you stop talking because we don't want to repeat this disaster. <laughs> Featherine just starts shaking again. And then, uh, but she calms herself down. Featherine isn't oblivious to social cues. She does understand <laughs> that this is something yes. crazy. This is, uh, you know, this is... This is, you know, not not the typical no. one. Um, so Featherine guides her, like she moves her uh, head uh, to like stare at Lurik. And then just gives you like this little like, and she starts wrapping her neck around your body and like, kind of like Aww. a swan hug, I guess. Like a little Aww. swan hug. Give That's you a little so nice. comfort. All right. I'll so take sweet. my hands off of it now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You just well, like suffocating him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for Era, my first murder. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Era. For Era, Era will call on uh, fireflies in front of Lurik and then have them form into this drum, right? And then, oh. and then you know, just leave it there in front of him. And then I will, I will tell Featherine, yeah. Well, well, Joy is, Joy is using, using my powers to make make other people happy, like Lurik, you know, cause cause he lost his drum, yeah, yeah, and yeah. and I just want to make the drum for him. So that's why I called on my, 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 what's that called? Fair, like the fireflies. fireflies to, to form, to form the drum. So you see, it's a gift. Joy is a gift that keeps giving. <laughs> so you, so you want a, a berry <laughs> featherine, huh? Will, will that make you happy? <laughs> hmm? Featherine just starts like uh, rubbing her uh, face on her uh, body as if like trying to wipe her tears. Uh, <laughs> Featherine looks back and just like like you can still see like there's like little leftover tears there in her oh. eyes. Like, oh yes, where where where's the berry? <laughs> she just goes in for the berry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Feathering is a mess right now. You guys have <laughs> emotional <laughs> roller. Yeah, emotional it's emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Listen, she asked. She asked the question. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's how you cool. 
<laughs> what is joy? Who knew that would send you through fucking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah oh, uh if you guys want to ask feathering anything or you guys want to interact with feathering uh if you guys are good we can just that's it for the gondola swans if you yeah simon's gonna ask feathering like of try course to get like more feathering. information <laughs> from from her about the carnival right like so federina how did you come to work for the carnival Featherine, hearing your voice and knowing oh, the no. answer you gave she does not respond she just ignores oh, no. <laughs> just Okay. She's just like coming or like <laughs> just going uh, along Simon, her way. Simon starts like writing on his notepad. Mm, silence usually means suspicious and <laughs> oblivious. <laughs> and the, 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 well, Feathering doesn't hear that. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to make you guys roll another deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyone else want to ask questions? Uh, or are you guys good? Everybody good? Uh, I'm a, I'll like, they produce oil from their skin, right? That's what you said. So I, I'll like, God, I'll like try yes. to get, get a I little bit of right. little oil and then I like try to rub it in my hair. Oh my God. Organic, <laughs> as uh, Arrow would say. This is yeah. the organic way. <laughs> all organic, you see. This is all organic. <laughs> um... Okay, so I guess that's it. Nobody's asking nothing. Uh, okay. All right, that's it for Featherine. That's it for the Gondola Swans. You guys okay. arrive. You guys see like um, you guys get the full tour. You guys see the whole thing. Um, you guys get back out of the gondola. Uh, where do you guys want to go to next? Somewhere where you can get a fucking towel. Towel. Oh, towel. Oh, let's see. Um... Look for a towel. There should be a towel by the entrance. You should find a towel just there. Oh. <laughs> now, whether it's clean, I don't know. That's oh mm. man. Oh. Well, I'm genuinely pissed off. Like the 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 seed the seeds happiness thing is not working. Is like not as working well as it should. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm so freaking wet. I need a freaking towel right now. <laughs> yeah. I need the rain is just more right now. Yeah. You need a higher dose. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh yeah so the four of you decide uh where do you guys want to go next let's see do you <laughs> would you like to see the snail racing it's riveting <laughs> <laughs> snail sure, racing? Yes, are, are they somehow like magically sped up snails or are they still slow snails <laughs> Tanya, <laughs> while you're drinking, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god! It's not water; it's coffee. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> no. no, like Simon's genuinely Hello. interested. Like. Are we watching snails that are magically faster and they're racing, or are they still slow snails? <laughs> they're, just, they're, they're, they're fast snails. They're fast, they're fast. Are they're they're, they're... so much funnier if they weren't. <laughs> it's just this we, slow, we, like... We, so and we, this, this small, like... Yeah. Man, we'd watch, like, we'd watch that show for the whole day and then the carnival's over. <laughs> Just like yeah. over, that's it. That's, that's the whole thing. <laughs> and then there's like people in the stands who are like completely, they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> for eight hours. Oh my god. There's like a bunch of guys like fucking gambling, like betting. <laughs> yeah, no, Quicksilver, yes. we want Quicksilver Placing to win. That. <laughs> Quicksilver! Quicksilver. <laughs> Quicksilver, Dash, <laughs> like yeah, Big speedy. McQueen. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, yeah, Simon's interested if they're magically sped up snails. All right. So you guys all go to the uh, snail racing uh, spot. Um, 
Okay. <laughs> so it's uh so imagine Fast and the Furious but snails. Basically, they're <laughs> giant snails. They're all juiced up. They got like you can imagine them having like their numbers, or shells, <laughs> like, and they have like different decals, like different you know colorways. Yeah, uh, I got it they got Sponsored. some brand. They got some brand deals. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. There's like some brands on the shell. Um, There's like one snail with like a Hatsune Miku like poster on the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh. Okay. Uh. Um, okay. You guys can, uh... Gamble. You I've guys got... can opt to gamble. You guys can... Find a way to... Be jockeys and... Join the snail racing if you guys want oh, to. Oh, so cool. Oh, really? <clears throat> this, is the, this is the perfect Ooh, song that's for... Right. for... Wait, Fast and Furious. Yes, yes the Fast and the Furious. Now. <laughs> yes, oh yes. Nice. Yo. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. That's so stupid. <laughs> And like, just I can just see these like fucking snails pop up, like fucking break the corner, slow mo, fucking <laughs> yeah. sparks. Sparks are flying from the from the shells hitting the ground. <laughs> yep. Can I can I um can I backflip onto onto a onto a snail and like ride them? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys can uh. Hop on and uh, okay. These are giant can, snails. Um, these are giant snails. Whoa! These are huge. Huge. No, Simon's not gonna bet this. or join or whatever. Okay, what? so Simon doesn't join. Simon's gonna talk to the crowd. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Gather intel. Yeah, Gather need intel, intel you know. So you guys provide the distraction while. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so oh, Tina and Tina's wheeled onto one. And uh, I, Era, I will you be? Yeah, I will follow. I will. Tina, th that's not safe. We will get caught, and we will be we will be scolded. But I will I will be Dude. riding one. <laughs> Just to make sure she's safe. Did you nice. ride one anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to catch up to, uh, to Tina's nail. Actually, actually, I, I'm, I'm like, oh, you're right. And then I, I'll, I'll, like that. And then my, my blink dog, which I totally forgot that I had. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to call my blink dog and then ride Blinky and try to race against the snail. It's like, it's you and me, Blinky. Ooh. <laughs> Blinky. All right, so okay, we'll have the blink dog in. Yeah. The blink dog is in the race. Fantastic. Siggy, I will, I will call Mommy D also if you all do that. Siggy. <laughs> He is Mommy, riding this only. I need I need to catch up. Where are you? <laughs> the display. Oh my god, uh, this giant. Mommy is just this she's just somewhere, somewhere else. She's there. <laughs> oh no, I won't get it. Um, oh, Lorik, I know. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to join the race? Do you want to bet? Uh, um, hang out with Simon. Again, um, Simon. Oh, Simon. Lyric is way too entertained by these incredibly fast snails and he's just like enjoying just watching the race right now because like it's beyond his imagination how these giant ass snails are ridiculously fast. Uh, um, <laughs> so, yeah. so he's, he's so chill now from because he dr was able to dry off his beard and his, his bald ass head and now that he's the the seed is now working again and he's genuinely enjoying the race seeing you know snails take left turns while they in around rounds and round circles <laughs> oh yeah they got fucking nitro going on they got nox oh my and god everything they got it all yeah they're cute stuff <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
you literally got the cast of uh, Fast and the Furious here. They, they're the, the jockeys. Like one of them's like uh, Big Weasel. The other guy is like fucking. Uh, I don't know. Just <laughs> you just have the characters there. <laughs> and uh, okay, so only one of you is gonna be on a snail. Um, see, Era. Yeah. Era, what color do you want your snail to? Which mm-hmm. co- what's what's the color? Orange. Orange. So the orange snail's name is Wizzy. Wizzy. <laughs> Wizzy. That's the name of Wizzy. Yeah, that's the name of your snail. Oh uh, wow! Hi, Wizzy. All right. Wizzy. So this is gonna be six rounds. So I'm gonna have you roll six uh, animal handling checks. Ooh. Let's do one. Let's do one for now, and then so we'll go along. Exclamation mark! See space animal. Sure. See. Mm-hmm. Also, you um uh, Des, Tina Valentina. Okay. I'm gonna need you to roll animal handling checks. Twelve. For now, wow. he'll ask you to do that five more times. I think. Okay. I rolled an eighteen. I got 18. 12. Alright. Okay. Uh, both of you move. Blinky. Oh yeah, you guys are just... You guys are... <laughs> you guys are just making uh, ground. You gain extra 10 feet of movement for that round. Um, wait, give me a second. How fast are these giant snails? Uh, oh, 10 feet. They cover 10 feet. I mean, yeah. what, what's, what's the speed on the Blink Dogma? Faster. This is but in be way this faster. case, yeah, 40 slower. Feet. 40 <laughs> feet. <laughs> so I'm just... Honestly, I'm not even going to bother you guys making doing all of this now. This is just Tina making laps around this whole freaking... Yeah. Uh, can, I, can, I roll, can I roll performance to see... Go like, ahead. Like, I want like, to like... Dumb. Yeah, doing other I'm stuff. Like, yeah, nothing on my blink dog and like and like like blowing kisses to the crowd. <laughs> hey. Thirteen. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, with a thirteen, uh, yeah, you're you're doing your thing. You fumble a little bit here and there. You slip a little bit, but you manage to gather your bearings again and then start you know flipping and like I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you're basically running laps around that. There's people on the side, uh, Simon, that you're talking to that are just pissed. They're like crumbling their paper because they're seeing this fucking blink dog just run laps, <laughs> like ruin, ruining their game. <laughs> and <laughs> they're just like, they're, they're, they're throwing tomatoes at the thing. They're just oh, upset. No. Uh, no. <laughs> they are not happy. No. Um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, start that's juggling it. the tomatoes, like catch tomatoes, start you juggling the tomatoes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So Wayne, uh, Simon would be talking to the people there. Um, what would you get from the people there? What could I give you? Um, um, so the patrons. Not, there's not gonna be much. <laughs> the okay. patrons. The best I could give you is snail racing knowledge. Uh, snail like which, racing which one's knowledge. usually... Okay. Which one's Simon's, like the fastest? Simon's <laughs> gonna ask if like the races are rigged or... Uh, is, it, is it actually fair? Some guy you know? in a big trench coat comes out. Hey yo, you don't ask those questions around here. You might want to take a few steps back, buddy. Uh, I don't know if you want to be uh, meddling in our affairs like that. <laughs> I understand. And this is. Oh, sure. Yes, uh, I completely understand. Uh, snail racing is serious business. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. Uh, you get it. You understand. I, I know. I know. You're just curious. Uh, but you know what? I'll give you a little, uh, a little hint. I'd say go for pink. Pick pink. Pink's pink's a good one. Pink's pretty fast. Yeah. So yeah, it basically gives you a tip. Yeah, that the pink ones are faster than most of the snails. Yeah. Uh, I see. All right. Thanks for that. Uh, I won't be asking any more questions. 
Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. He just like fucking goes into the shadows again. Like, he was <laughs> never <Shadows>. there. <laughs> he just like melts into the shadow. <laughs> He's a- got it. Uh, so then, trench coat guy's gone. Then, <laughs> uh, Simon is gonna go up to like the <clears throat> the betting guy. I get what are they called? The one who takes the bets. Uh, He's like uh, I, bookies. I think. Yeah, I'd like to bet. I'd like to bet on the race. If it's not too late. The, book, <laughs> the bookie comes out all like violet and just this. This guy's face is discolored because there's like a full on like group of people like already inside the booth beating this guy up because again they're like why the hell is Tina Valentina here? She's yeah, supposed yeah, to be yeah. over at the big top. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, this yeah. guy's not giving them the money because they're like wait our guy just won like if you're not gonna count tina and so the guy's like well no it doesn't work like that tina's a part of the race and blah 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 yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah so as much as as, as much as you want to like that the guy's beat up and i don't think he could even say anything at this point <laughs> okay got it um is it possible for for simon to sneakily take like one of the betting tickets and then quickly write down a tina valentina and then put it back in yeah 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 uh let's say slide a hand give yeah. me slide a hand man so let's do it slide oh, <laughs> this is ridiculous <laughs> oh 10 not too good not too good uh Look, the guy's beat up. His eyes are all puffy. He can't see what's going on. You write down Tina in as good as a in as good of a handwriting as possible. And uh, uh, in the mix of things, like you're like shoving it like yeah. some mirror of the uh, <laughs> like yeah. hey, 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 I won. And the guy's like, oh, all right, here, here you go. Yeah. And he, like, throws you like this. Uh, Let's go. A bag of a uh, bag of like. Uh, uh coins gold coins uh you won 15 gold coins on nice. the, uh, how much 15 you got 15. 15. One, one five, yeah got it got it okay gg you almost made up uh your entrance fee <laughs> yep <laughs> nearly there nearly there <laughs> um five more gold pieces <laughs> five more gold pieces that's just it. That's the that's the goal of this whole thing. <laughs> Make up the entrance fee. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so as far as snail racing goes, uh, that's as good as it's gonna get, I think. Uh, <laughs> with Blinky and Tina just smoking the race, <laughs> and Era. But Era, I would say Era is Era. Would you mind rolling me one more um, animal handling uh, check, please? Just one more. See your placement in the card. Ooh. 18. Yeah. And that and that means you're just right behind uh freaking yeah. uh Tina. Right yeah. There. You're right there with uh what's what's its name? Blizzy, I Blinky. think. I think that's the name of your snail. Oh, Wizzy. Wizzy. I thought it was Wizzy. 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 No, Sorry. but I, would, Wizzy I and... just, I just tell Wizzy nga, no, it's okay. We need to take it slowly but surely, okay? <laughs> slowly but surely. Yeah. And then just, Wizzy I, just, I, I, Wizzy just hears that and it's like, affirmative. And then just fucking blazes you the whole Affirmative. Yeah. <laughs> just blazes. <laughs> He's just like on fire, just fucking. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Zooms Amazing. through it all. Um, affirmative. Affirmative. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's it uh, for snail racing. <laughs> yes. Um, nice. Throughout all through the through the through the chaos, you guys find your way outside of the snail racing entrance and. Uh, can uh, decide on where you guys want to go to next. Simon actually pipes up and says, "Actually, I would be interested if there are any uh, like bow shooting ranges over here, something of the Ooh. like." Ah. See. 
There should be one. Where do I practice? Like yeah, Tina like, does well, that. You have, your, you have your own practice place. I don't know if there's a uh, uh, there's, there's a, a public one. Got it. Okay, yeah, yeah okay. You, can, you can tell me no. <laughs> Tina, Tina does that. <laughs> It just sprouts yeah, out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a magic <laughs> carnival. The tent just comes out of nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's like uh, uh, there's a ring toss over here that can be like. Yes. Okay. Yes, we have that. Ring we can do that. Yeah. Ring okay. toss. Yes. Oh, challenge him, Tina. You want to do toss. a bet? <gasps> Simon versus what I mean, do you Tina say, versus Simon? you. I mean, yeah, uh, I'm not Maybe sure if best. I'm I'm such an excellent marksman compared to, to no, you. No, you can't do it. Like all those years ago, we saw you <laughs> carrying around guns, and all I had was a little slingshot. Well, we'll have to see, won't we? Indeed. And yeah, Simon goes uh, up to back. All right, back. so you you took me on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I All right, see so you guys. What would the roll be? Uh, the roll for your ring tosses are gonna be dexterity be... checks. Dex uh, checks. Got it. Dex checks. So each participant gets three rings. Uh, you get a dex check, uh, and two successful tosses means you get a prize. Three, three, right? Yeah. Ooh. You only get three, and oh. you need two. Yes. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. I missed one. That's so I got a fifteen, a nineteen, and then a four. That's crazy. Between had, the both of you, I had the Dina wins. Modifier obviously, too. she just rolled better. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, Tina just rolled. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, we actually are equal. <laughs> Oh yeah. no, you got plus three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, so you're better, you're better, you're better. No, no, I, <laughs> maybe, I don't know, maybe Simon is like, you know, uh, not like showing off his true potential. I, I don't so... know. Oh yeah, let's, let, yeah. <laughs> you just, you know, like letting you in, like, yeah, exactly, <laughs> this was how it's supposed to go. <laughs> and then in, um, like he, so he, that's he, what happens. He has like a, a an inner outer monologue, yeah, let's... Let's, let's make Tina Valentina feel like she's winning so I can get more information out of her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As he says accidentally out loud. out loud, by the way. <laughs> just... what, what information are you looking for exactly? Oh. To me, you don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah. Just ask us. Tina already said that she... Like, I can't get any information un unless I'm accepted in the carnival. Oh, well, unless it's trade Thinking secrets, about something else. you can't know. But if you want to know about animals, animals, <laughs> I'm the one to ask. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Um, tell me about the, the snails then, and then... He, he just says that so he can get Era to start talking but then doesn't listen anymore. You know, you know snails eat carrots also? So he's a competitor. Snails are competitors. That's right. They can be better than you. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Holy shit. So don't, don't underestimate them, mister. They can run circles around you, I bet. I I'm sure. Oh. They've been running circles all day. If that's that right. That's what they do for a living. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Simon's so I fucking annoying right now. <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> Just poking at freaking Era. And Era is this super nice, super just like well mannered, very quiet. <laughs> but when it comes to animals, oh, you don't fuck yeah. with Era. Yeah, you don't mess with her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't mess with her. Yeah. All right. Uh, you have never seen Era. This in the in the in the. Oh, we've known each other since we were like toddlers, probably. I've never seen her this worked up <laughs> in my <right>. life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So Era and Lorik, if you guys want to join in. With a ring pass, that's also cool. Um, okay. Wait, does Dina get a prize? 
Yeah, from um, the ring Dina. Yeah, do I, do I get a prize? I was going to ask that too. Unfortunately, you do not get a prize. Because you work there. What? But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you do not. Oh, uh, but Era, Era can attempt to, you know, win you a prize. Maybe, oh. I don't know, Era, if you want to try. And... Yeah, <laughs> definitely. All of a sudden, Era <laughs> just kills it. Thrice. Wow. Oh, we're off to a good start. Wow. Oh my. What the <laughs> hell? There you go. What? That's right. Oh. Don't and let me that, talk about era. my animals because you get me worked <laughs> up. God damn. Perfect. So you see, you see Simon like fucking, you know, fucking. Yeah, I will. I will side I Simon. Whatever. <laughs> and then, uh. Yeah, just trying to make it like, you know, look cool. And then uh, it's not going in. It's just like spins in and <laughs> yeah, then spins yeah, yeah. out. Yeah, um, yeah. And, then, and then Tina, you know, just lightly throw it in. Because Tina's done this so many times. Tina's very confident that she can like get it in. It's going to go yeah, in. Yeah. So one of them does go in. But all the other rest just fucking ping to the side and they just, you know, fly off. Wow, it's a high DC. Yeah. It's a high DC, DC wow. 17. Yeah. Wow. Oh, shoot. Which is, which is why it's crazy in the era shows up. Yep. Kills it. Just starts throwing it like the most nonchalant way. Just very, like, you know, just chill. Just it's whatever. <laughs> yeah. And it just goes in. Every single one goes in. And uh -huh. uh, era, you get to choose uh, two prizes. Uh, you get two rolls. Um, so I'm, I'll need you to roll. Uh, Two d8s for me, so we can figure out what your prize is. That's insane. Double eights. Double eights. Oh my! You get a That's... glove puppet in the shape of a wizard. <laughs> oh, here it's Dumbledore. You got, here you go. You got two of them too. You got two glove puppets. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you can start talking, yeah. It's like, um, I'm the real, I'm the real wizard. <laughs> I'm the real wizard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will make them so... kiss. Look, look, they're kissing like this. <laughs> oh, love is such a wonderful thing. Yeah. Ah, uh, love. Love is but an <laughs> ephemeral. <laughs> <laughs> and then here comes freaking Simon, this fucking downer of a class. <laughs> oh, we got oh Lurik back. Lurik. Do you want to uh, try your hand? Uh, Sarink boss, see if you can Hell yeah. get Hell some yeah. prizes. Yeah. Um, Hell just yeah. make three uh, dexterity checks. So exclamation C, dex. Yeah. Three times? Yep. Three times, yeah. Okay, I got an eight. Come on. Got, got my... He's, he's strength. Got my... He's strength build. Ten. And... Yeah. <laughs> good tries, good tries. He breaks the, he breaks the tries, pins. Man. Nah. <laughs> he breaks the nails <laughs> off. <laughs> I can hammer a thing, but not a ring boss. <laughs> he like tosses the ring into the stand, breaks the back of it, like another one hits it's another just, child. It just, it just, there's it just a, hits another there's a, <laughs> there's a, a child, child on the that. side eating ice cream, and there's like a ring that pops him and he like flies off screen. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, Lurik. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Essentially just causing havoc across the freaking area. Um, <laughs> but they don't know where that came from, so uh, parents aren't gonna uh, come at you guys. And <laughs> um, for Era, though, Era, um, those glove puppets actually have uh, the ability to cast Minor Illusion. Oh, wow. So you get... Yes, so you have three uses of um, Minor Illusion for both Each. puppets. And yeah, so that's just add that to the Whoa, thing. Oh, wow. Um, per day, yeah. per day, so, uh, or they... That's just a one-time thing. After the three uses, they just... Turn into oof. regular puppets. They... 
You turn into regular puppets, yes. That's cool, okay. I will minor so illusion a dinosaur. A dinosaur pops up and causes, like, slight mayhem. Everybody's, like, confused. What the hell is this doing? Yeah. But some of the some of the kids are just playing around because they think it's a part of the whole carnival. Yeah. It's part of the, you know, allure. So the kids are, like, running around. As they try to grab the uh, uh, dinosaur, no touching. you start, like, I think... They start, oh, you're there, you're there. Harry's <laughs> <No touching. laughs> just right there to say... Just like guarding no the dinosaur, like hey, no touch, no touch. Uh, so again, we can we can say there's like a perimeter. You're like setting a perimeter, so yeah. <laughs> like a red literally put cones only up to <laughs> here. Like cones, yeah. <laughs> Simon is like, step right up if you wanna take a look at the minor illusion dinosaur. That that'll be ten gold. Oh shit! <laughs> Taking money from kids. Oh no. <laughs> This is it. Uh, you guys just uh, made your own booth <laughs> in the freaking carnival, yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how you wonderful. <laughs> Amazing. This is insane. Uh, yeah, so you guys do that. Um, I'd say I'd say that's fine. That's fine. You guys have your own thing. Yeah. Fine. Um, that, we'll make that happen. Um you guys can then leave it because you've created this. Uh, I'll say Lurik is uh, smart enough, like with smithing and tinkering, that you've created this like coin uh, slot machine thing, yeah. so that when they come up to like watch, they just throw it into the slot machine. And, yeah, mm -hmm. I will. And they, I will whisper leave. to Tina. Oh my God, we're in big, big trouble. <laughs> As long as they don't find out, we'll be fine. The, the mother, the the dark mother, who's not nice, will really not like this. Don't tell her. We'll be okay. Okay, everyone, don't tell. This is our yes. boss, Okay. Yes. This I'm is not you. ours. <laughs> it's somebody else's. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll say as well with uh, with Lurik's uh, smithing. Uh, I'd say Lurik would have like a like uh, if lost, please contact me here. <laughs> Lurik would just like have his name and like contact information there as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Anyway. Well, it's okay. It's not. It's not me and Era. So that's fine. I think. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but they do see you there. Uh, actually, I'm gonna note that down. Oh, uh, can note I? That. Uh, I've got like a hat. I've got a disguise kit with me. All right. Uh, so I'm put, a, put a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> and I will. I will continue saying, everyone, this is not <laughs> our booth. Okay, not me. Not me. Not mine. I'm Era. I'm. This, this is not my booth, and this is my friend Tina Valentina, right? And as she performs in the big tent, and this is not her booth, also. No. Uh, actually, I'm like seeing the gathering people. I will take advantage of this moment and say, "Yeah, Tina Valentina will be performing yeah. in the big tent." <laughs> Okay, wait, so it's at, uh, what time is it? What what time is the performance? Uh, it's gonna be in one hour. Your performance oh, in one be. hour, Tina Valentina and my wonderful friend, uh, Era, we will have the most wonderful performance and then I will, I'll cast Dancing Lights, uh, to, to make, like, um, four, like, orbs come around and, like, create this, like, show and, like, be like, this is just a taste and then I I'll make the, the lights disappear in, like, in a flash and then, uh, um, um, scoot Era away. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye! Go. Bye, everyone! <laughs> so you guys have an hour, um, until the, uh, the event. Um, you guys have time for one more if you guys want to. One more. Uh, Let's uh, go to oh, the horror attraction. booth. There, <laughs> where the horror monsters booth. are, but they're not really monsters. Uh, the Hall of Illusions. I yeah. think that's Hall where you want to go. Oh jeez. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
This is gonna Don't be, be uh, something. It's okay. On your way to the uh, Hall of Illusions, uh, Simon, I say, since your uh, passive perceptions just nutty, uh, I'll say you notice there's a like uh, on the way on the way to the Hall of Illusions, you notice like this one shady figure that's like not blending in with the crowd as like because like everyone's like. You you pick up patterns, right? You know how these people move. They're just is he wearing fun fairy wings? This all this person is also wearing fairy wings. They are uh, just making their way across the whole uh, thing. Very how do I say this? Now? They're like shady. They're just mm. they, they just they look shady. Yeah. <laughs> Suspicious. Yeah, he's <laughs> Suspicious. <laughs> yeah. So I guess you just. You just jot the person's name down, or like yeah. their appearance down, I guess, or something. Um, okay, so you guys make it to the Hall of Illusions. So as you approach the uh, Hall of Illusions, you see a... Uh, no, wait, where's my owl bear saying? No, 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 no. Oh, he's not there. Wait. Uh, let me get him. We have... We have this guy. Yeah. There. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Canned. Candlefoot. Candlefoot. Oh. His name is Candlefoot. The shady guy. So uh, the thing with Candlefoot is, yeah, yeah. Candlefoot is a uh, is a mime. So Candlefoot's just gesturing to you guys uh, things, but yeah, you guys just don't. He doesn't say anything, but not because. Okay, uh, how do I call him this one? Uh, Candlefoot's a mime, so he's just like telling you guys this and that. But he's very like disgruntled right now. Um, he's, uh, not gesturing towards the Hall of Illusions. He's, he's more so beckoning towards him as if trying to ask you guys for help. Hey, uh, I'll, I'll come in. Oh, Candlefoot, what's wrong? <laughs> Am I doing the mime, mime things? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so Candle, <laughs> Candlefoot's just gesturing like, you haven't toothbrush no today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're hungry? Your voice! Speak! Speak! speak. Yes, yes you can't you. speak! Cannot, no, cannot speak. We, we must speak. We must not speak. Do you know the you game cannot Charade? Speak. Cannot speak. <laughs> <laughs> We know you can't speak Candlefoot. Okay, so you guys get it. You guys, uh, <laughs> you guys figure it out. I mean, if you want to, if you can speak, you want to smoke already. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Freaking Mika. Oh, you didn't brush your teeth yet. <laughs> Love that. Uh, yeah. So he, um, he can't. Uh, He's so yeah. If you guys figure it out, he can't speak. He has actually lost his voice. He doesn't have his voice uh, oh. anymore. For and how long? so, hey, you don't know that because he can't. Uh, he doesn't so, know. So he doesn't I'm gonna remember. ask Tina, Tina and Era like, has Candlefoot always been a mime? Hmm. Hmm. Do we know that? Yeah. Do, do, I I feel like you we would. would know. Yeah. We would um, know. Yeah, so what you, from what you guys know, this hasn't, this isn't a normal thing. He, Candlefoot knows how to speak. Oh, okay. In fact, Candlefoot has a smooth, smooth, Ooh, uh, like a Mr. Suave uh, voice. Texan, te ah, that's Texas it. voice. Texan okay. draw. Texan draw. So, uh, so, so if he's not doing a bit, oh, where his voice uh, go? Uh, uh, Simon, Simon, darling, uh, can I borrow your notebook really quickly, please? Okay, and then he he hands it to you, and it's a grocery list for like carrots, like. <laughs> 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 
10 pounds of carrots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like 10 pounds baby carrots. 12 Fresh pounds ones. large carrots. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dried yeah. carrots. I'll, I'll take it. Um, uh, thank you so much, darling. Flip, 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 flip. No regard for like whether it's secret information or not. Goes to a blank page, gives it to Candlefoot. Candlefoot, tell us what happens. Borrow your pencil as well. Great. Fantastic. That makes Brilliant. things so much easier. So yeah. Candlefoot starts writing down, explaining that um, he's about to propose to his uh, longtime girlfriend, uh, Pol- uh, Felosha. Wait, I don't know. I forgot her name. Uh, I think Felosha, her name is Felosha. Felosha. Or something. But yeah, Felicia. so his, uh, his longtime girlfriend. <laughs> Um, before he was about to, as he was about to propose, this, um, Kenku, um, I don't know, like, uh, figure came in and, like, uh, cast, um, cast, like, some sort of magic on him and just stole his voice. Mm. And so the Kenku, and so I guess this would connect with, um, Simon. Simon, you start to realize that that individual that you noticed that was acting out of character was, was probably figure. that guy a kenku with figure a who with a beak and everything but but the thing is um that figure that you saw was not a kenku that figure was um just some like some f- sort of like disguise uh-huh. so i guess it was just a human but again with the kenku has like mannerisms that seem very off and it doesn't work with the uh the human like you know the typical patterns that you notice so they're like so he, he kind of stood out to you so yeah so yeah you get it you uh kind of connect the dots there and so yeah he goes on to explain that the kenku stole his voice it's been like uh, a couple of days um mm. and so now he needs help if you guys wouldn't mind looking for the kenku oh candles hey, of course will help you well, what does he look like? What can you tell us about him? Where did you see him last? He has no idea. Oh. I, I yeah. saw someone kind of suspicious right outside on the way to the Hall of Illusions. He looked oh? like a dark, brooding figure, shady, suspicious. Uh, but mm-hmm. he looked mm-hmm. like a human, but he did not act like one. He l- acted more like a bird. Oh, and so he proceeds to tell you, yeah, that's probably him. If you guys uh, decide to go now, uh, you, can you can catch, catch him. Up. But now the trade-off, yeah, catch up. The tra- uh, trade-off here is if you guys do attempt to uh, um, chase after this uh, figure, uh, it'll take you like at least an hour possibly to like catch up or like to find him. So now... It's either you catch or you go for this figure or you go to the uh, event for Era and Tina. Oh, my show. Mm-hmm. Their shows, because oh. it's coming up. They only have an hour left. So you got this one hour to, yeah. I don't know decide, about you guys, so. but when justice knocks on the door, you answer it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's exactly and Simon, what I would say. Simon yeah. just bolts. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, investigate, no. it's investigator mode. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Simon. Oh ball. dear. Oh, but Simon comes uh. back. He takes the notebook and pencil from. <laughs> oh, I got this one. <laughs> this belongs to me. <laughs> and then he leaves again. It's like, oh dear. Well, I suppose we'll have to follow them. I just have to keep an eye on the time. Well, this is my show after all. So I'll Figure. follow, but I'm a. You're gonna dip the moment, yeah. Okay. The moment, the moment I gotta go, I gotta. This is my job, my life. Yeah. This is it. Okay, Sigur. Yeah. We waited eight years for this. See this show, yeah. My, it, I'm I'm torn because this is my family, and so yeah. Candlefoot, I want to help. However, it's my duty as well to perform for the carnival. Oh, we're so, seriously. In, I'll do what I can until deep, the time. Deep shit now. <laughs> We're in deep shit now, guys. <laughs> the the uh, well, the, the lady won't like this. 
<laughs> so like Simon comes back to get his uh, pen and paper, uh, the paper and stuff, and then goes again, and then realizes Lorik's right there, just staring at like him, like what the hell's going on? Yeah. Simon, you come back, and then you grab Lorik by the yeah, hand, like... and you guys go off, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then uh, <laughs> Tina's well, like, I'll follow. <laughs> yeah, Tina's I will like, go oh, yeah. with so, Tina. Yeah, you see him? You guys follow. You guys all go following suit. Um, Sige, uh, we're gonna have an investigation check to look for this Everyone? individual. Everyone? Everyone, yes, yeah. Oh boy! Mm. Don't give me a bad roll. A dirty twenty, DM. Whew. Nice. Um, not one. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not, not for us. <laughs> this is not our thing. Nah, not for you guys. This is not your thing. We're, 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 thing. we're thinking about it too much. Like, <laughs> show or show. You guys yeah. are stressed out. You guys, yeah. <clears throat> That's exactly what's going on. So, uh, we'll have... Yeah, so Wayne... Simon figures out this whole thing. You sniff the trails. You see the... Uh, you know, you got your magnifying glass out. Mm -hmm. And you just, like, start, you know... Definitely. And uh, let's say, you mind zooming out of the map real quick? Okay. Um, and let's position you guys by the bubble pop teapot. Here? Let's say by the entrance over there, yeah. By the like entrance? Close to, north, close to, let's say close to north wind, where north winds at, okay. that entrance over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that way you guys are close to the big pop, and if anything, you know, I can just dip after. Um, all right. So as you guys are there, uh, you arrive, and you see this individual again, uh, just, like, rummaging through, like, uh, mm -hmm. different, like, this, like, lump of, like, garbage, just this, this like this garbage can like this person just like digging out of the garbage can um and yeah you can decide how you want to approach the individual simon, or simon puts mm -hmm. a finger on over his hand to like shush <laughs> right and then simon points to the other side of the figure and then points to himself and then makes that gesture that he's gonna go around them to like <laughs> try and block their escape if ever they try to run and and then he makes a f like signs with his hands that like we gather around him right we trap him we corner him Era will just be following her hands his hand signals but not getting anything <laughs> <laughs> um, just like so simon just goes around and then like T also like tugging Lorik along and try to make his way around the figure to the other side of where Era and Tina are. So the figure's now in the middle. Yes. Uh, okay. The figure, uh, let me just put the figure down there. Uh, yes, Tina, you wanted to say something? No, just that like once he starts, like I, I also like look at the hand signals and I'm like, uh-huh and then but once he starts moving to the place i start to catch on i'm like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay Excellent. uh yeah that happens uh as that, as that as that's going on i would say the uh the uh kenku starts noticing and seeing that she is cornered she then transforms back into kenku form uh-huh and oh oh sorry I... no, it's the other way can, can, before before we when i when i see them transform can i can i can i message them a sleep spell can i try to put them to sleep <laughs> you want to put them to sleep okay yeah you can go for it okay sweet um i guess i'll roll 5d8 right oh wait no uh, no, he okay. has to do. He has to do a wisdom. I save, think. right? Yeah, some sort of save. By <laughs> the way, uh, the uh, individuals. Uh, it's a female. Just wanted to put that Got out it. there. Oh, she. Is that she? It's all good. It's all good. Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Oh no! What? 
Starting with the creature that has the lowest hit points, 20 feet of a point, choose, oh. <laughs> if I cast this, I think within 20 feet of a choice. So like, everyone within 20 feet of where I choose <laughs> might fall asleep. Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on. Let I me, think you can me... decide who you want to yeah, let me. Let me see that spell. Creatures within 20, 20 feet are affected in ascending order. Starting with the creature that has the lowest, yeah. Oh, starting with the, yeah, the lowest, okay. So that's, <laughs> we're gonna see. I don't think you guys have a higher HP, so everyone else would get knocked can... out, yeah. Never mind. You can, yeah, yeah, it's tough. Because <laughs> we're like all around, yeah. you can't everyone's just like right there. <laughs> make a point. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Uh, so never. Okay. Uh, anyone else want to do something before we proceed? Ch Simon just calls out like, "Hey you, uh, don't be alarmed. We're <laughs> not here to harm you. We just need oh, no. to ask some questions." <laughs> so the character just looks at you like shaking and out of nowhere, uh, she just says. Because, okay, uh, she just goes, Well, I made a fey pact with Vilna, the arch fey of the fey wild domain of Prismere. Now, I'm having troubles connecting with her, as she is my patron. So, I'm going to need you guys to back off, okay? Because I've been trying to communicate. I've been trying to talk to the owners of this here carnival. But it's just not happening. They're not entertaining me. Nobody wants to talk to me. And so now they force my hand to steal this nice man's voice. And so as much as I don't want to run around with his voice, I just need somebody to give me that attention to answer some of my questions. We will talk to you. Well, you've yeah. got our attention. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, you this know... is, so my name is Simon Softail, private investigator. And this is, <laughs> this is Era Era, and this is Tina, and they work for the Witchlight Carnival. Mm -hmm. They have a direct connection with the, the owners of this said carnival. Yeah, we can give you a VIP access. Mm -hmm. We've never, but Era, yeah. we've never met the owners. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, uh... <laughs> God. That's... Oh, we God. can! <laughs> yeah. They, they, they don't... She, he, she doesn't know that. She does not know that. That's true. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why don't you just come this way? Yeah. What do you need? First, you want berry? I, I can give you berry. <laughs> Hmm? Uh, sh sure, I'll, t I'll take some berries. Yeah, I'll take some yeah, berries. let's just talk, you know, <laughs> and eat berries. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just shove these berries in my mouth. Okay. Because, uh, <laughs> again, this isn't, this isn't her voice. You guys need to remember, this is Candlefoot's voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's because it's weird. You're, you're talking like our friend Candlefoot, you know. Well, I had no choice. I had to steal. I had to steal his voice. Yeah, but you know it's voice, not nice. Nobody would so... get my attention. So what <sighs> do you want? Look, I just need to know if my patron is safe. I got this voice from stealing it from Campbellfoot. I feel like we covered this earlier. Um, your your patron who... uh, was with you when you came to the carnival? No, not, no, not, no, not my, no, I'm a, so the thing is, I'm a warlock, and this is my patron that I, I, I get my powers from. This isn't just, ah. uh, you know, a regular individual. My patron isn't giving me no anymore. powers no more. Yeah, my, pa my patron's not communicating with me. I'm, like, running on fumes right now. Uh, that's why I need some help. I need questions answered, but nobody's willing to give me the answers. How about this? We secure you an audience with the owners of the carnival 
through Tina and Era, and you return Candlefoot's voice. Oh, I don't know them. You will know look, them. I don't. I look. These promises, I'm not sure if you guys can make make true or come through with the uh what would okay what would be the second the best it, thing the second best thing for you the second best thing is for you guys to be a part of my crew yeah. i've developed i've developed a plan to steal from the owners steal? and i need your help steal oh, steal dear. not kill the owners that's not that's not gonna hasty now that's just <laughs> steal what are you trying to steal, oh. steal. Oh my we're gosh. not stealers mister no that's that's not nice <laughs> well you guys well i'm not gonna buy it you guys can grab me an audience you guys are a bunch of 18 year olds who have no idea what it is that's going on. So I'm telling what? you right now. Okay. What about this? What about this, Mister? Uh, what's your name? My name's Kettlestein. Kettle Kettlestein, Mister Kettlestein. We've got a show going on in in about in about thirty minutes, and uh, there's gonna be a whole lot of people over there that someone's got to be able to answer Steam. your question. Huh? Kettle. Sorry, that's a uh, kettle steam. Yeah, with an yeah, A. Kettle, oh. Steam. Kettle Steam. Uh, so what I can promise you is uh, an audience with an audience member. I'm sure someone there will be able to help you. How? What do you say to that? Look, I don't want to talk to no audience. I don't want to deal with any of, you know, these uh, little people. I want the big fish. I'm looking for the big fish. And I'm trying to get what I want. We so know you guys are in. You, okay, that's, that's not big. even a real dinosaur. I know that's not a real dinosaur. You guys made a fool everyone else in this carnival. <laughs> you guys can't fool me. I figured out that's not a real dinosaur. How would you know? <laughs> well, he's a warlock. For what? I'm a, I'm no, a you're not. Okay, I got powers. Okay, you guys got powers. I got powers too. We got powers here. Okay. <laughs> Apparently okay, we have um, Mr. Apparently Steam. We have uh, so about that second best thing, uh, join your crew to steal from the owners. What are you trying to steal? I know one of the owners is a very uh, flamboyant figure. This figure has a uh, a vein, sort of like mace looking thing. It's called the Witch Light Fade. I need you to take that from him, give it to me, we'll use it as leverage, and I'll gain the information that I need. And why would we help you? I mean, well, Era and Tina, they might be inclined because their friend Candlefoot would, want, would like their voice back, but what's really stopping us from just forgetting about him completely and just enjoying our time in the carnival? Look, you seem like nice individuals, and for you, Simon, nice wasn't is it? but an abstract. <laughs> there is no such thing as absolutes in this world. Question, DM. Go ahead. How far am I away from the the security office? Security <laughs> office. Uh, let's say. Let's say the uh, entrance, the main entrance would have like immediate security if you wanted one. So How however far, far is that, that is from where you guys are right now, I don't know. Is it, uh, is it within 120 feet? It would be, this one. It would be oh, around, okay. yeah. Okay, I, I want to send a message to um, Nicholas Midnight. Is that his name? Yes, um, yeah. My, my dear friend, Nicholas Midnight, um, telling him that we have a situation here at, and I'll say the area code because I live here, man. <laughs> yeah, you got um, codes, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll tell him and to send back up immediately, uh, make it stealthy, um, and we'll try to contain the problem as soon as possible. Sweet. Okay. But I did that uh, through message, so nobody else knows that I, I did this. Yeah, yeah, Tele telepathic going, okay. Uh, yeah. 
So Nicholas Midnight gets the message. Uh, a bunch of the Witch Fight Hands guards are like assembled, sent to the area. Kettle's team will attempt to leave the premises. Uh, let's see what Kettle's let team has. That. Kettle's team has a little thing up her sleeve. Uh, Kettle's team, my dear fellow, you cannot threaten my home and get away with it. <laughs> Uh, Kettle Steam will cast Twilight Sleep. Oh. Uh, so Kettle Steam targets one creature she can see within 10 feet of her. The target is engulfed in a cloud of sleep inducing gas. So you must save from a uh, DC 13 uh, uh, constitution saving throw. Before that, DM, while, uh, while the guards are arriving and whatever. Yeah. Can Simon like quickly try to see anything on Kettle Steam's like belt or like pouches dangling like of, along the belt yeah. like for something for him to grab? Uh he's yeah. looking for something va- like with maybe like a notebook or like whatever, like information. Sure. Sige. Um hmm. Let's see. Uh, sleight of hand, man. Give me your sleight of hand. All right. Uh, Let's get it. Slight. Boom, Come on, Simon. Nineteen. Heck 19. yeah. Yes, I'll um, say you get a token, a circular token with the with markings on it. You wouldn't know okay. what these markings are, but you have a yeah. token, circular Pocket token. Pocket immediately. <laughs> That's yours. Nice. Um, so yeah, uh, Kettle Steam's gonna attempt to leave, put everyone to sleep. Uh, um, constitution DM? saving throws. Who? Yes. He's like one person. So who does he target? Uh, no, because the say... gas will like create the area of effect, right? It's a it's a cloud though. Yeah, it'll target one person and then like within ten feet, that's gonna like cover mm. everyone. Uh, DM, um, I have. She's an elf. Yeah. Ooh. Magic can put me to sleep. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so no. Era doesn't have to do any <laughs> con saves. Era is perfectly fine. Um, so everyone else Ooh. make a con save. And oh I, my I, God, I'm familiar with 20. sleep spells, so that makes so sense. Like... Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Simon like... is like, you think you'll get me to sleep? <laughs> I've had tired, endless nights of Azure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, um, Tonya, Lurk, if you want, you can roll a uh, constitution okay. saving throw. How do I do that? Uh, exclamation save, save con. Yeah. Con, okay, con, thank you. You do not make calls in our turf, Ooh, nice. mister. <laughs> and I bet Lurk that you don't even survives, have yeah. organic oils yeah. in your yeah. in your feathers. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Featherine has better feathers than you. That's right. Just starts <laughs> just starts cussing out the guy. Um so yeah, Lurik Lurik saves um uh Lurik, since you're pretty close and like Simon's knocked out. Uh and this goes for anyone, um, but I'll let Lurik go first. You can attempt to grapple uh Kettle Steam so Ooh. that Kettle Steam can't run away. Um alright, I'll grapple Kettle Steam. Kettle so Steam? Uh, like kettle Athlete. and then steam. A- Athlete. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Athletics. Uh, what, what's a role do you have? Grapple kettle steam with my massive drummer hands. So that's opposed uh, athletics, right? Ah, okay. You can choose DM that. as the receiver uh, to be to roll athletics or acrobatics. Hmm. I, I want I want to I want to give inspiration to Bardic inspiration to uh, Oh natural yeah, I don't even 20. think he needs it. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. <laughs> he doesn't need it. <laughs> he doesn't need it. That's <laughs> right. I'm not I'm not even gonna bother uh Indeed. rolling for <laughs> 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 That's it. He's just like one hand out. 
<laughs> I'ma make you my drum. <laughs> Like one of those, like, claw machines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like a vice grip claw rather than the, like the weak, weak So as Kelsey claws. tries to attempt uh, to run away, uh, yeah, Lurik just grabs Kettlestein by one hand and just like drags him to the ground, pins him to the ground, and just like waits until the uh, guards come. Uh, as the guards come, they apprehend Kettlestein. Kettlestein, as she uh, goes away, uh, will give back Candlefoot's voice. Yeah. Uh, she'll give back Candlefoot's voice, and That's she'll right. say, in like, in this like sad tone, like, all I wanted to know was more information on my patron that's all i wanted i didn't want to cause anyone any harm i just wanted to know more you ain't gotta and steal so, uh, other people's and voices look, she's, and then she's and then she's gone she's out of your hands you guys got yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like gone. you should you should have thought of that before messing before with you my what dear you friend Castle right. foot by the way what time is it our show is about to go on <laughs> and so we need to quickly return the voice yeah, the voice is back. Uh, I think um, there's like a a thing that uh, uh, Kettle Steam breaks. As Kettle Steam breaks that object, uh, Candlefoot's voice goes back to Candlefoot, and uh, you guys start hearing this applause, this rousing like. You noise need to from go now, cow. Tina. Let's go. And so everyone <laughs> we just needs sprint. to go. And as you guys, yeah, you guys sprint. You guys go in there. Get my blink and dog. You had your blink dog in, you guys filter into the big top, and that's where we'll end the session. Yeah! Good job, you said. Good job, you That was so good! That was uh, fun. Yeah, uh, GG. Thank yeah, you, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so appreciate it, guys. Yeah. I hope someone oh, woke man. Simon up before you left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, we just since, rushed. Since... Dun, dun, dun. We just rushed to the tent. <laughs> I'll say, I'll, I'll say Lorik like is just dragging your body yeah. through the ground, like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's just like Lorik wouldn't leave you behind. Never. Hey, no. GG. No. Good shit, DM. I'm just having a good time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Big clap, big clap. It worked out. I was like, I was looking at the time. I was like, oops, I think it's gonna be three hours now. So I was like, okay, let's <laughs> let's good. call it. Uh, I hope you guys three. had fun. Uh, it was, oh, it was fun. so good. Yeah, it was so good. first D and D experience, pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, I like I it. Appreciate uh, that. Yeah, this Why is my first it? DMing. So first time DMing. So good job. Oh, cool. Nice. Woo! Congrats, congrats. Round of applause. <laughs> First session of Yusuf. Yeah. I, I, I really like it, Yusuf. Good We're job. expecting like six sessions, right? So like, I'm yeah. just wondering like, how do, how, like after this, like what's gonna happen in the next, like this is just chapter one, right? Of six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's like, what's, what's in store for two yeah. of the six? We, can, this uh, week? we haven't got it into uh, combat can... yet, so. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> yeah that. that's true. Yeah, Once no, you get no, in the combat. combat yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, you guys need uh, two levels. So hey, you guys are level three now. That's so yeah. That's so yeah. Yeah. That's so shocked. <laughs> level three. Level All three. Right. That's what you get Let's for uh, running around the carnival. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. The best so way to gain excited. experience. <laughs> Experience oh, you guys are crazy oh my goodness i was like what are these guys doing right now fucking snail racing uh gun feathery yeah. i was just like oh and then Dude. and then the dinosaur from uh um, yeah. yeah oh my god I was you did like, so oh well my. man <laughs> you did so well nice. congrats nice. good job appreciate you guys you did Thank so you. well that's yeah. awesome all right I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna wrap up the episode. Hang on. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All right. What uh, YouTube channel is this, by the way? Uh, we. Uh, that was episode one of Beyond the Witchlight, DM by Yusuf. Yusuf. That's his first time. game. 
So he did pretty well as a, a first time DM, so we're proud of him. And I hope you guys uh, continue to stick around for uh, the rest of the, the mini campaign. It's going to be six episodes. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye and peace. 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 <laughs>